Welcome all you couch detectives out there to our weekly episode. Make sure you check out our socials linked below so you always know what we're up to. Give us a like if you want to see more. It really does help. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. January 8th, 2017, Lubbock, Texas. The body of a man later identified as 32-year-old Gabriel Salazar is found in a South Lubbock Motel parking lot. How did he get here? And why? Salazar's mother told investigators that she had dropped her son off at an apartment complex at the 6500 block of Avenue Q the previous day. And when she went to pick him up, nobody answered the door. Police were able to contact the resident of the apartment, 29-year-old Geneva Leal. She was brought down to the Lubbock Police Department for questioning. Before we begin, I want to make it very clear that Gabriel Salazar was not a good person. In 2005, he pleaded guilty to aggravated sexual assault on an 8-year-old. He served 10 years in prison, which should have been more, and he was released in 2015. In March of 2016, he was involved in another aggravated assault where he stabbed one man in the neck and another in the head and shoulder. Along with possession of controlled substance, he was sentenced to four years of probation. If you missed the interrogation of Geneva Leal, it is linked below. The interrogation of Jacob Enriquez is already on Patreon for early access, and it will be here on YouTube in the future. Okay, here is the full police interrogation of Demetrius Lights. You ain't got any weapons or anything on you, dude. Nothing dangerous on you? Uh, I don't have to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. You've been asked that a bunch? Huh? You've been asked that a bunch or something? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't be like that. What happened? No, that happened. Boys, it's tight. What's your first name? Or, I know your first name is Demetrius, right? Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? D I K M I T R I S E. I S E? Mm -hmm. Do you have a middle name? Mm -hmm. Devon. Mm -hmm. I V O N. D I V O N? Mm -hmm. and your last name is Lights, is that right? Mm -hmm. Is it L Y G H? Mm -hmm. L Y G H T S, is that right? Yes. Sir. What's your birthday? Actually, I was just born in California. Oh. I was really like born and raised. I mean, like just raised in Arlington, Grand Prairie area. Oh yeah. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my papa, that's my that's my grandpa's number. He's oh. sweet. He's been living in California. I was like Pasadena. Oh, so you've been loaded for a while. He was coming up in two years. Oh. Almost. I mean, maybe oh. Do you know? You know why you were arrested? Not necessarily, no. Okay. My understanding is you got a couple of warrants. Mm -hmm. You know about some warrants that you had? Um, the tickets? The you know, warrants? My understanding possibly through, uh, through the federal court or something. Like Do you have any federal cases that you know? Mm -hmm. No? No. I don't think so. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going we're gonna to check on that. Okay. And see. Uh, that was kind of what I was told. That, that might not be accurate. So, okay. So you don't know of any? No, nothing like that. You never run over to the federal courthouse or anything like that? No, sir. You, got, you said you got some traffic tickets, though? So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got traffic tickets. I'm going to turn into warrants by now. Out of here in Lubbock? Mm -hmm. That's good. Nothing too crazy, though? <laughs> Maybe. Well, um, I know this whole thing's got to be kind of crazy for you. I mean, yeah. you're at the house, all of a sudden, there's cops show up. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, uh, well, how we do is we can work on a case since the weekend, okay? Uh, following up on a uh, on a body that was found on Sunday, 
and uh, we just got some information about your involvement in the situation. And I want to be able to talk to you about everything, answer any questions you've got. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be straight with you. Cool. And I just, but I just want you to be straight with me too. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't mind answering your questions, and I hope that you'll do the same. Of course. Um, because I want to get it all figured out. <clears throat> and, uh, and I certainly don't want there to be any misinformation flowing around about you. Or, or exactly. Okay. Um, because because of the warrants, that's what you're under arrest for. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, as far as mm -hmm. the, the no other charges against you at this time that mm -hmm. I know of. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to read you the random warning. Have you heard that before? Have you ever mm -hmm. been arrested before? Okay. And, and it's just due to the fact that you're under arrest. I want you to understand your, what your rights are and. Um, that you um, have a right, if you want to talk to me, that you can end that conversation, whatever you please. Okay. I'm just going to read that to you real quick. You got to memorize it. Do it? <laughs> you know, I do, but I still read it every time because, you know, so I can make sure I get them on and that you understand them all. It's okay. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. Any statement you make will be used against you at a trial. Any statement you make may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. If you're unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during any questioning. And you have the right to terminate this interview at any time. You understand all that? Yeah. So, and, and again, um, what I'm wanting to talk to you about is just this other case I'm working on and some information that I've got about you. I want to make sure you, we get all that cleared up, okay? Um, but before we do that, I want to make sure that you understand all those rights and that you uh, knowing to, knowingly, intelligently, and voluntarily wish to waive those rights to talk to me. Okay, yeah, I understand. But um, I have one question about uh -huh. can we find out what's specific on the warrant? Yes. The TV warrant. Absolutely. Or whatever I'm going to be on arrest for. Because uh -huh. I really don't want to, I don't think I was going to put it anyway. So. Because what? Sit that one out. <laughs> The ticket warrants? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, anything that I've been out before. Let's check that out. I don't think I introduced myself. I'm Detective Bonds. How you doing? You doing good? <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yeah. It's nice outside. It's crazy yeah. this weather that's like freezing, hot, uh, freezing hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, this morning I had to go uh, get my other baby. Uh -huh. I just looked at it and I was like, it's fire. <laughs> I didn't have to wear a coat this morning. And then this weekend, it's supposed to be icy. Mess. Freezing temperatures all the time. So I'm like, are you going to be 70 something for two days after snowing? And then go back to freezing again. Hey, Ash, this is James. West Texas. 71.22. To living in California? It was uh, assisting. Uh, about a year. Yeah. That's a lot more like call on that. Uh, I'm sick with yeah. weather. I was on that call. She was on that. Yeah, when did that we have? Um, at that location. Which part of Demetrius? That's Adina. 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 That's been to other ones. Lights and the last mm -hmm. one drove from San Francisco down to LA. HTS. On the highway one. Pretty cool. It was all smoky. I'm just so, you know what I mean? Where you can't even see that. Far and high. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, not far away. I don't bet it. It was just, at least just a bit. 613 and 94. I was almost feeling like, ah, oh, California can't be that good. It can't be that good. I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. I just want to go one, <laughs> get all three, you know what I mean? Yeah. I start up there, go down. And I was like, it's yeah. nice amazing. Yeah, the food, it's just like, like their Taco Bell's better than <laughs> Las Brisas, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fresh, everything's good. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate it. I was it's really cool. impressed with it. I mean, it's expensive, but... Just yeah, I don't think I'd go out there to leave, but... Yeah. Who yeah. lives there on 92nd Street? Hmm? Whose house is that on 92nd Street? The mother of my child. Okay. Hmm. I have a lot of good things to say about LA. I mean, about California. LA was a little too, like... Trendy, you know what I mean? To, mm. I guess Hollywood, if you will. Yeah. Um, we went to Manhattan Beach, and which were real neat. There were a bunch of like restaurants and stuff down close to the beach and stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Oakland, it's like Oakland, uh, mm -hmm. okay. San Francisco Bay. Yeah, right across the bay. Yes. Mm. I'm about the more gorgeous. 
<laughs> in the Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> Went to Alcatraz. That was pretty uh, city. Yeah. Ooh, I'm sorry. I saved some money. It's the only, like, you know, it's all little like, community, essentially, that was a prison. Yeah. Uh, I was impressed with it. I know it was a bad way to do that much research. And then they based the, the one that have all zombies, Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I haven't played those Call of Duty in so long. The last one I really played was uh, Modern Warfare. So, yeah. And then a little bit of Black Ops. Yeah. <laughs> and it got weird and like futuristic stuff. I, I was like, yeah, it's too much. Modern Warfare was the best one to me. The best Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. And then we went with Warfare 2, and it was. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the same. Start playing Battlefield in there. Nah, I can't really get to it. Yeah. It's just so much bigger. You know what I mean? There's so much going on. Yeah. The new one's pretty cool. It's like World War. Yeah. So it's like old school weapons and stuff. Yeah. It's all of this. Do you have a driver's yeah. license already, Mr. Watts? On me? No. On no, you just issued one if you ever had one? Yeah. Do you know what the number is? No. Okay. Oh, so yeah, you have a DL or yeah, Here in Texas? Yeah. A DL or an ID? ID. ID for case call. Yeah, he's got an ID card. He's got an ID. He's got an ID. There's like trains and horses and stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The train's pretty cool. It's like if you're your team's losing yes. or something you get like this big train that just kind of wrecks everything or battleship and stuff mm. thank you <laughs> what brought you out here compared to Fair uh, Perry hey Chelsea it's most of my most of my family was out here I wanted to get one so I just came out out of out. California uh uh-huh. originally that's where they left it's out the, or yeah they, 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 we always had family out here in Louis uh-huh. they, so basically, living in California, and then okay. everybody kind of migrated. Yeah, I went towards Dallas. And yeah. then I left Dallas, went back to Louisville. So following, mm-hmm. it's good to be around family. Mm-hmm. Makes things easy. Wait, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you've got a the FBI has a warrant out for your school drug and trafficking. Is what it says. You know anything about that? Not at all. Did you ever get arrested with a gun or anything? never? <laughs> And that's just that's what the warrant says, and it's actually out of a local office. I know the agent listed on. What was the issue? Mm-hmm. Yeah, check. Some type of dumb stay, but um, it's like August tenth. Let's see. That's way the intro. Maybe that's what. There's not very much information to see. I mean, it, it's great. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of got like a list of stuff. The actual warrant would have more information on it, and I can actually, I know the... Uh, yeah, because if anything, uh, I report to the city every month. To the city? Yeah, I'm on For bail. Tickets? No, I'm not, I'm not reporting on bail. But when they have said something about that... I don't know. They may not have actually ran you again. They may just kind of... Sometimes we <clears> just deal with the... That's business. the only thing I have. So basically... And I... Um, may not even understand that. And uh, like I said, I, the, the agent, the special agent listed on the on the warrant is actually one of the local agents. I can mm. I can even call on if you want. I mean, we can try with it. We can try to work that out or figure out what's going on so that you know what's going on. I'm sure you'd like to know what's going on. Um, <coughs> I want to ask you uh, just some stuff about this deal that we've been working on since Sunday. Okay, um, you're about that guy that they found over on Carriage House. The Carriage House. Found a, they found a body over there on Sunday morning. Okay. Okay. Um, guy was dead in the parking lot. They carried out so they're off his sleep. Okay. Yeah. And that's what that's what we're investigating. Okay. okay. Um, we've spoken to several people. Um, we have processed several locations for evidence. Mm-hmm. Um, and your name's come up um, from several people as, as being kind of around this guy or kind of in the same place he was on Saturday over at uh, Geneva's house. Okay. You know Geneva? Yeah, I know where Geneva is. She lives over I mean Q, like 66 and Q over there? Uh-huh. 65th and Q? Yeah. Okay. Like a duplex or something? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you know that she was arrested? I mean, her her face was all on the news and stuff today. The news ran her, ran a deal about it. Side enough, she knew she got arrested and that. Mm-hmm. I did not know yet. But and she made some calls and stuff. Yeah, mentioned some stuff that, about that, you. Yeah, did someone call you? Yeah, who called you? I think it was her sister. Yeah. Wanted to say she wanted to talk to me about something, but we never heard. Okay. But I can't say what. I can't say. 
So I'm still confused on it. I just left it alone. When you go down Saturday? Okay. Yeah, I showed up on Saturday over there. About what time? Mm, it was kind of like in and out. I'm trying to get, because a lot of people have stayed over there. Yeah. So, first of all, I'm trying to get who exactly we're talking about when I was over there and the times I did leave and come back with my friend LB, which I did this morning. Um, that's, I just kept, uh, popped over, over there a couple times that same day. And then she needs some gas for the generator. And I'm still confused, you know. So, I'm trying to basically figure out like why would it? Because this is extreme. What I just had to go through and see when my baby was still out of my sleep. And so obviously, yeah. something was probably. Well, the guy was. I mean, the guy was. The guy was okay. He was beat. Mm-hmm. He was beat um, pretty severely. Okay, and uh, he, I talked to some people yesterday that, that said you were there mm-hmm. um, at the house, mm-hmm. and. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, some of those people try to throw it all the way at you. But I'm gonna tell you also, I don't think that that's all that that's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I don't know if um, some of those people were like, well, that would probably like, be I don't know you. I don't know you. You know, we, we haven't met. Yeah. But I don't know. Do you have like a reputation as being like mm-hmm. anything? I, I am the kind of black sheep when I am over there. It's yeah. me with my friend, but. Because some of the people wanted to be like, like, let me choose who's, do they call you Meech? Mm-hmm. Um, I just wanted to ask you that. Um, they, they were saying that you were kind of the one that was like, I don't know, like kind of telling people what they needed to do mm-hmm. involved in this thing. I want to get Tell me about this guy that, that was over there. Mm-hmm. The guy that got to go. Tell you about him. Yeah. I there's nothing, nothing much I can tell you about the guy. I mean, but you were there on Saturday. He was there yeah. from Saturday morning to Saturday night. Mm-hmm. And from talking to everybody, I know that I know that some stuff happened mm-hmm. because I guess some people over there found out that he was like a pervert, mm-hmm. like that he had hurt a kid or something like that back back in the day. I had nothing to do with now. Nah, their situation right there, I had nothing to do with. Obviously, on the black sheet, I'm. The only person that goes over there for a need a need home. Whoever she brings to the house is none of my business. She needs help, go over there and help her, leave, come back. But what I'm saying is, is this guy got beat up pretty bad by some of the people that were there while you were there? No. Yeah. Because they've already said it. I mean no. some of the some of the people involved that we've already talked to have already been like jazz. So this guy, um, Exactly. Yeah. It came out I guess that he was the pervert that he had hurt a kid. I think he had like raped a kid or something mm-hmm. like that. And some beef broke out between him and another person that was there. So that had nothing to do with me. No, they're saying that it did because they said that you got involved in it too, and that you were part of the one like, like beating him and all this stuff. And it was your idea to to get this other guy to take him to put him in the back of the truck and take him over to the carriage house. No. And if that's not true, I need you to tell me exactly. how that broke out. Like, how did that I happen? Don't. Because the other guy that was in the truck with the other guy that was in the truck, mm. he's even like, you know, he says, "I just showed up and mm. and he identified you." Says so, all this shit was done just to come in. Everybody put the blame on me about some stuff that everybody, I wasn't even. And the thing is, like everybody, I think, tries to put the blame on somebody. I've, I've learned that. In, in investigating cases, okay? Yeah, because I'm, I'm at the point where I'm I mean, not going to blame on anybody. Cause, no, I know, here's the thing. I believe I've got enough people telling me that you were there during mm-hmm. the day. Yeah, I, I told you. I, I, yeah, I mean, I know you were there, and I know that if you were in that duplex, I mean, it's a little thing. I was in there yesterday. Mm-hmm. If you were in there on Saturday, you saw this dude while he was in there. Uh-huh. He, he was in there all freaking day, and, and he'd been he had a pretty good boy. You know what I mean? And I don't know if the point was, so I don't know. Like, I don't so know if he the, died of uh, what? Well, I mean. He did it. He, I guess, got left outside. He got left out, he got beat, and then he got dumped out there in the parking lot, and he's dead now. And my thing is this, I don't know if the point was 
to kill him or the point was to teach him a lesson or oh. the point was just that the people there were so disgusted with this dude yeah or what I don't know mm. I got different people telling me different things but I mean I have people that have been there tell me yeah I was there and yeah this happened and this was kind of the way it broke down yeah but you know I just go feel how I would be anywhere in between because 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 the other people that were there all worked out for themselves exactly I'm pretty sure everybody looks out for number one and if and if in knowing that you were there mm. I also know that from being there there's no way you could have been there and not knowing the situation was happening and going on mm. but because it's a little bitty like, freaking duplex. I know. know. It's just a little bitty deal. It's got like, like a bedroom and a living room. Really, yeah, I go over there and holler at you and like, you know, I don't, I've been in too many situations to where like, I don't want to even put myself in a certain situation. So when people are looking out for themselves, I mean, I don't understand why my neighbor can come up. Because Cause I, I, cause cause they do know I, I me with a strong friend of mine, so yeah. that's probably one reason that yeah. between yeah. people getting into it or his pervert, whatever he did with him kids, I don't know nothing about. What they get into it about then? At some point, Jacob shot. Why? Yeah. Why did Jacob shoot that dude? You know Jacob? Yeah, yeah. I think the, well, the he was there. Was there. Yeah, and he was there while you were there, and he shot him. Yeah. Why? Why? I didn't. I didn't why? I didn't see that. Everybody in there shot him get shot. Yeah. And nobody yeah. in there knows that that gun's all alive. Yeah. That's piece of me. crap. It's a piece of crap gun. Hey, Sean. Yeah. It's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, you did. I didn't see and you, that. And the thing is, Even the neighbors heard that. And, and the thing is this. I heard about it. The thing I didn't is, see that. You I heard, was not there. Have you heard about it? Yeah. How'd but like I said, it's not my business. Who'd you hear? It's not what I heard it from. It's when you listen to people's conversations. Who was talking mm-hmm. about it? Hmm? Who was talking about it? They were having a conversation in a room. If someone said that you hit him in the head with the bat. Psst. If someone said everyone there hit this man in the head with the bat because it's, y'all were... Okay, that, that's a lie. Because I wasn't there. First of all, I wasn't there most of the day. I go there and I help me with how what she do listening to a conversation. Oh, Here's the deal. You can keep it like that. If you were there when he got beat up and you didn't take part in him getting beat up, it was not there. Then there's no reason you wouldn't tell me that. Exactly. But if, not there. if you were there and you did take part in it, I could understand why you might be reluctant to say something. The only thing, I could say I was there, but I could stay here about a conversation. I wasn't there when he got shot. I wasn't there when he got beat up. So why is reach in between? You know, you know Geneva yeah, better than I do. You know them better than I do. Her, yeah, nobody know her better. Yeah. I don't know anybody else like that. That's what I'm saying. Um, Mutual conversations, acquaintances, you know. Geneva is the only person I can say that it's really my friend, our kids and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Besides anybody else. So if I told you that there's video of the carriage house once over the pulling in there and dumping out of the bed of the truck. Who was y'all? You and then the guy who was driving. So we already talked to him yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And he was like, yeah. He says, he says, I just showed up. He said, I showed up kind of late. I was looking for, he said he was looking for some dope. And that when he gets there and you guys are all there, this guy's like beat up. And he says, that you ask him to help you get rid of this dude. And then y'all, but, but listen, I know you're shaking your head. I know, it's all, all crazy. And he's got that, trying to take he's, got that truck, that he's got that truck that's all busted up. Mm. And and that truck, y'all are on video at Carriage House, driving in from Slayton, driving around to that back deal, by the little trucks. There's cameras all over. Carriage House is nuts. I was surprised to see that. And then y'all get out there, get him out of the bed of the truck. Ooh, and dump, so you're saying I'm out there on camera? You know, it is. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It's unmistakable. And he says it's you. And if it is you, he doesn't. No. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. He doesn't even know you. Why do you think that we'd be at the house today putting all that effort into I don't to talk to you if I wasn't, if I wasn't. Exactly. Serious, if That's I wasn't, what I'm saying. I'm being honest. With you. I'm being That's straight. That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
I mean, I'm being straight with you. And my thing is this, if I don't know this other guy, what if it was his idea? And what if he got you to help him? I don't know. But all he's telling me is I showed up looking for dope and he described you and he, he says he doesn't know you. He describes you and he like says that, that you helped him. He says it was your idea. Doesn't make sense him. if he doesn't know me, but he described me. He described me. And he asked me to help him take no. him to the cures out. He said you asked him to help because he was looking for dope or something like that. And mm-hmm. you were there at the house. If he was looking for dope, then why would I ask him? I don't know. That doesn't even make sense. I know that people go there to Geneva's house okay. to, to score dope on occasion. If and people smoke that, there. If they do, it's not my business. And he says that's why he shows up over there. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He says he's talking to some other chick that's there. Where is he? Where is this other chick? Where is this other chick? He says he's, he's talking to her. She gives him the address. He shows up. He sees this. And he says that you have the idea to take this no. guy. But I'm just... Yeah, okay. I, I, understand. I understand. I'm just telling you what I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm being honest with you because I told you I would. But so he says he shows up. And then and I asked him, a guy I do not know, to be a beat up body. Was... Maybe you don't. Geneva also says. Okay. Geneva also I says. I was there at one point in time. No, Geneva says you were there while all this was happening. Not mm-hmm. that you were there at one point in time. And if you were there from any time on Saturday, you were there while mm-hmm. this was happening. He got shot in the morning. He got dumped in the nighttime. And he was there all day. Mm-hmm. He busted up playing on the couch and stuff. It's not, you couldn't miss it. You couldn't have been there and missed mm-hmm. it. It's not possible. Okay. So seeing him, did not see him get shot or beat up. Did it's none of my business. But you saw it? No. It is your business because people yeah. have said that now a guy it's that been I made your business. I exactly. That's Maybe what I was saying at the time, but yeah, it's being made my business now. Yeah. Because it's a serious shit and I, I, really, yeah. I really don't want a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, my thing is if, if if all you if all it was was you were there and you saw something but you weren't involved mm-hmm. or if you ended up in a in a situation that you just maybe at the wrong place at the wrong time mm-hmm. or if it wasn't really you kind of driving the whole let's take him out here to care of mm-hmm. you need to tell me that but it doesn't need to be in the form of I wasn't there I don't know what happened I don't know what's going on because there's video of care of mm-hmm. that's unavoidable there's no way I mean and if I'm lying to you, there's no way we end up over at Nevis house yesterday. Mm-hmm. There's no way we find his truck. There's no way we talk to them. Mm-hmm. There's no way she gives us your name. Mm-hmm. And the way he described, you know what I'm saying? I'm not lying to you. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm offering you all of this. And a lot of times that might not happen because I want to hear what you can tell me. Because you, you know things that I don't know. And I want to I wanna be able to hear that from you. I mean, it's really not much. Uh, say the guy got shot. For when, when, from when to when? Well, I know he stayed there from. I know people were calling that morning about shots being fired at the apartment. Uh, okay. Several people have already said that Jacob shot the dude. Mm-hmm. Well, he's the only person I know with a gun. You know, not like no life. You seen the gun before? How you know he has a gun? The only person I know is just black. I don't. It's just nothing when I go there. It might be things laid out, it might be drunk laid out, you know. Just giving an example. When's the last time you were there? I think I was the same day, that Saturday. Saturday? What's today? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. It's been about two days, yeah. And the thing is, I mean, we know these things. There's mm-hmm. proof of these things. I know you were there when this man was mm-hmm. there and was beat. Okay, I know that. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. There are plenty of witnesses. Neva's yeah. gonna say that. She's not gonna lie on me. Y'all are, y'all are tight. Yeah. Did not see him get shot, came in. You can see the man in my business. Nothing was happening at that time. What was it? What was it? What was he doing when he came in? Man. And if you tell me you didn't see him get shot, ooh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But if you tell me you didn't ever see him there, you know what I mean? I'm like, no. So you no, said you saw him there. Yeah. You saw him. Yeah. What was he doing when he saw him? Chill. Sounded <laughs> like, okay, you good? You, you all right? 
Yeah, he was, he was responsible for shit like that. Who so. was on? What do you saw? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He, this can be really. Couldn't really do that. Couldn't really comprehend. He couldn't yeah. comprehend? Yeah. Or you couldn't comprehend? So, no, him. Okay. So. Where was he in the apartment in the new place? In the front. Right there in the front. In the living room? Yeah, he wasn't in the room, so I had to go past to the room. I said, what's up? Okay, I realized something's wrong with you, so I keep walking towards Neva's room. Like, it's like, it's none of my business now. Okay. Do you need anything? Like, you come back, he's still there. He's still responsive. So, it's none of my business. I can't be moving. So, at this time, going back and forth, I'm trying to figure out, now, knowing this, why I would, you know, me be the name of you saying me has a lot to do with this, but Jacob shot him, right? Well, I'll tell you, he's the only person I know that pisses, so I could believe that also. He was shot, he was stabbed, and at, at one point, someone took a bat to him by the neighbor's room. And mm-hmm. it sounds like, and from what I'm hearing, everybody that was there took a bat to him at some point because he was, <clears> and, <throat> and from what I'm hearing, it had to do with the fact that he had, he had raped a kid. Yeah. Is that I, true? Just, I don't know that part. I just know, um, like, previously, before that, him, him was always, like, he played mind games with people. And I guess Jacob was the wrong person to play mind game with. So. Uh, Did you know the guy? You got it done? No, I really didn't know him like that. You know his name? Now I know his name. Okay. How'd you find out his name? From the uh, carriage house, yeah. I mean,. How'd you, did you hear it from somebody? Did you hear it on the news? I mean, what'd you hear? When we were there, he was, he would tell us his name. He said he gave it out A or Lee. Okay. Out. Okay. So I was like, I mean, he, he would play mind games with people talking about I'm God and stuff like that. So, like I said, the dude was already out of whack. you like a sick dude? He says not right. But if you, if you would probably sit there and listen to his stories, you'd probably just be like, yeah. Uh, you, you see one or the other, you're telling the truth or you're crazy, he's hit on the head, you know, so. I mean, if I have to do a debate on that, I really don't need to be in this conversation, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. Babe, it, it, it was just too much going on, that's why I would come and go, you know. I didn't know the guy like that, I really don't, I'm not friendly, so. How the whole thing care shots happened? How'd that all go down? What? Like I said, the video from care shots. Did y'all dump him off there in the parking lot? No. Uh, dump him off in the parking lot? Yeah. I wasn't there. Leaving him in the parking lot? Yeah. Cool. even says you, you were there. Okay. A lot of people said I was there doing a lot there's of things. video. Hey, no, there's, <coughs> there's a video of the other guy in the truck and who was also there. Okay. Some people saying that I was even with y'all. Who? Anna? Who was that? Hey, Anna? Hey. And that girl, the girl was at the, at the, she was also there at the day. I guess I don't know people like that. But, yeah. And, and the deal with this, I mean, the video yeah, shows. You know, the, the, the white guy you're talking about, though. I don't know what the hell she did. What do y'all call the white guy? I don't know. <laughs> I had can't you tell you nothing. Know had you ever met him before? No. How'd he get there? What did he want when he got the way? Because he doesn't know when he got the right? Or does he? <laughs> I swear, I don't did know. Did you know him? Have you ever seen no, him? No, I've never seen him. No. So how, did, how did he get over to Tanita's that way? That was, I don't know. He could have walked. Well, no, I don't mean like how. I guess I'm asking that. How does he end up over there? Like, why does he just show up at Nita's house? Is it true that he's looking, just looking for dope or what? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's saying he's busy. I don't know. Does he know me or not? Uh, he, he's he was speaking like he knew what he was sort of surrounded, you know. So okay, I'm not the type of like, hey, well, what's your name? My name is such and such. Yeah, that's fine. So oh, that's fair. But what is it? Really? I mean, you think that there's a reason he just show up? Because you know, you know Neva, right? Mm-hmm. And you know. You know Jacob, right? Yeah. And uh, Joshua? Um, yeah. That's his brother, right? Mm. And uh, and 
Hey. No, you're not no hair. You don't have you don't know her? You don't know her? Uh, if I get a picture of her, I could probably tell you. But I don't know a girl. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. She was over Geneva. She was over Geneva. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It'd be so much people. But if I see a picture, I'll probably be more likely to be able to tell you. Yeah. So I guess what I'm getting at is you know those people. So there's a reason kind no, of. No, uh, no, 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 you know Neva, you know Jacob, you know Joshua. I know Neva, I know of Jacob, I know of Joshua. Okay. I'm starting to get to know Joshua more. Were Jacob and Joshua over there that night too, for that day? Yeah, I seen them. Okay. So, the reason y'all hanging out is y'all know each other. Hmm. Fair enough? Is that right? Is that true? Getting I, can, I go over there for Neva specifically, and okay. I guess they're doing the same thing as me going over there for Neva specifically. So, if we're in the same circle at one point in time, I mean, I mean, y'all are there because y'all all know Neva, right? So, so if this guy tells me I went over there, but I don't know any of those people, to me, I'm like, why mm-hmm. do you end up with someone's house you don't even know? Mm-hmm. So it makes me have to think maybe he's kind of like, maybe there's more to it than that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you talking about the white guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's up with him? I mean, what's up with that? Were you there when he got there? I don't really know. Were you there when he showed up? No, I had walked in after that and seen him there. Like I said, plenty of people go there. Yeah. So if you got there when he was there? No, I was there the other day and then I left, came back, and he, he was there. So if, if you got there when he was there, you would have been there whenever this they Gabriel, left. whenever this Gabriel dude was all like messed up. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So what happened with Gabriel at that he, point? Every time I've seen Gabriel, he was all responsive, you know? Like, he was good, but he was just like, like, dope for it or something. I don't know, like, he was crazy. Was he bleeding? Yeah, he was bleeding. From where? Uh, facial. Facial, it was really, I could see. Okay. Facial. So, just black blood, what did you see? Yeah. See, see a big old cut on his head? I just seen him, he was like, hair on his face, like, do this stuff. He just put that thumb down. Or dry. Did you ask what happened that dude? So what happened mm-hmm. then? Yeah, I fucked up. It's, it's common sense. I didn't really ask. I was like, shit, he's, he's, he's. Okay, so did you say he fucked this dude? Huh? Like, did you ask? I mean, we're not curious why this dude get fucked up, and he's just yeah, sitting yeah. here chilling. Yeah, yeah, I was curious. So what? I was curious. So what did to say about it? It was none of my business. I never asked him. I know I heard about that shit though, like him getting into it. But mm-hmm. like I said, I don't get deep into a situation where I'll basically be butting in at somebody's. What'd you hear about? What'd you hear about? He, he uh, was disrespectful to one of the dudes, Jacob or Josh or both of them. And they were into it and they were into it for, it had to be going on for at least a week, you know? So. Okay. I guess it could have led up to this, uh, to where he really disrespected them to a certain level or disrespected Neva and, and they retaliated for her. I don't know, it could have went either or way because they're there for her. So I, I could see that happening too. But. Were you there whenever Nita hit him with the bat? No. She said she hit him with the bat. You know, it's not no, I wasn't there for that. I wasn't there for none of that. But you were there whenever the white dude was there. You got there after the I white got, guy. Got there. So if the white guy says that it was your idea to get him out of Negroes, mm-hmm. but to take him out of there, and that dude's true, is, is that true or is that not true? That's false. Whose idea was it to take him out of that dude's truck? Because you were there when it happened. That's why I'm asking you, what what's going on in there where someone's like, let's get this dude out of here and get him. This white dude's got a truck. I almost wondered if they didn't call that white because they knew he had a truck or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean... So what happened? Mm-hmm. I mean, I got there after he did. Yeah, he looks kind of weird. Like I said, I'm not that friendly anyway. So... Y'all handle what y'all got to handle. I'm going to sit here until I can talk to Neva. If you take too long, because I have a ride outside, it'll be... It's my brother. He black shoot me because I don't have a car. He's gonna be antsy outside because he wants to go. He has kids too. 
Is your brother? Yeah, it's not my blood relative. Really. That's what we call it. Right. And I wasn't in there long enough to go through what they're like. I didn't hear nothing they were talking about. So I didn't even know the white guy had a truck, period, you know? Mm-hmm. But it seems kind of smart to me for either one, whoever was there, to call him for a truck ride, wherever he could go. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he most likely gets a point going over there was he needs some dope, because that's what people go over there for. They probably talk to him then about it, you know? If he said that you offered to give him some dope, if he took help you to the help get that guy out of the, I understand the dude wasn't dead. Whenever he got loaded into the guy's truck, he mm-hmm. what I understand. Uh-huh. Everybody says he was like moaning, making noise, and uh-huh. shit like that. Yeah. And he says that if it was your idea of helping, like you helping get some dope, if he helped you get the guy out of the house. See, like I said, the guy wasn't dead from what I understand exactly. at the time. Yeah. So, but I'm like, but I've got him saying that, and then I've got Neva saying that you <sighs> helped him, that y'all loaded that guy into this white dude's truck. Mm. And I know, I mean, I know that, because I mean, we have the video, the bed liner from the truck, he took all his tools out, and then blood on it, I mean, so. Mm. We, so got all, we got all that already. Yeah. But I guess what I'm getting at was, was this a deal that if you just ended, if you ended up along for the ride, I assume he drove, it's his truck. And if you just end up in his truck and he ends up at Carrot's house, like, hey, well, I want to know how you ended up there. And it might have been your idea. You might have been like, let's take this to the Carrot's house. I don't know. Yeah, but I made my point on that. Yeah, yeah. But, was another, but you know what I mean? I'm yeah. just looking for some answers as to how you ended up in this white dude's truck at Carrot's house. No, you never ended up at the white dude's trucks in the Carrot's house because when I pulled up and he was, I was with it'll be my brother. I told why wouldn't he allow him? Why wouldn't she? I mean, why? Wouldn't why, she? why wouldn't everybody's so story be straight on? Why, why would my name be in it, period? You know? Because you would. Why would I have all this going on for an accusation that I was with a white guy unloading the body of the church off in the back? Well, before we call him unloading the body, mm-hmm. my understanding is that he was alive. Okay. You know, I'm just see. saying. Uh, if he was dead, maybe he was dead. I don't know, maybe one of the game noise. I don't know that anyone was a doctor. This, this, this I don't is know. how I get my impression, man. I'm just giving you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if anyone was checking his pulse to see if he's alive or dead, but uh, at some point he got out of the back of the truck. You guys looked him out and put him on the ground out there mm. on the parking lot. That's what the story did. Well, that's what the video shows, too. I mean, the video backs the story up. Yeah. It yeah. backs up what he says, it backs up what. Geneva says and everything. Except for you saying it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And if if it did happen and there's an explanation for it, if it was like we left him there because we figured someone would find him, or we left him there because we got to get him out of the house, but we thought somebody might find him or maybe he'd make his way up to the carriage see, or something. Now, see, now once I, if I'm going to do that, I'm jumping into somebody else's situation. Well, that's basically, you know, adding on to what other people got going on. If I got to pull up and didn't see none of this stuff going on, just uh, briefly seeing the man, then by the end of the day, jumping in the car with a white man because he needed some dope. Yeah. And loading a body doesn't make sense. You're talking to some but talking like to some said, people, like you said, it oh. wasn't popular. And I think it was a lot of what he did. So I just mean, the one accusation on me with this part, you said a lot of people had something to say about Beach earlier, mm-hmm. but on this certain part, it was just he was seeing. Well, in this well, the part, guy. there's video of it. There's the white guy and there's Neva talking about you doing that. You say what? On this particular part, there's video of it in the church house. There's the white guy. There's Neva all talking about you doing that. The video, On video. the video shows it. Yes, sir. It shows her and I'm talking about it. No, no, no. The video shows you guys going to carriage house. It shows other people. No, it doesn't. Mm, tell me. The white guy's like, yeah, it was me. It was that other guy. Mm. It was there. And Neva says, yeah, they left together. Mm. They loaded him into the truck. They exactly. left together. No. no, that's not what happened. What did happen? You were there when he was there. Yeah, so I, know I, know he he there. There. I know he asked for some dope. I saw I know he asked for some dope. 
everything else I got to do with me. So were you, were you there when he left with Gabriel? He said, huh? You were there when he left with Gabriel? Who? You were there when the white dude left with Gabriel, right? No. You weren't at Nevis house no. when that happened? I stepped outside. LB was calling me already. He was already antsy. So you just stepped outside and, and missed that point? No. LB called me outside. Yeah, he probably got record of that also, but then a white dude came outside. Okay, it's none of my business. Me and him were still talking. He said, I'm finna go inside, holler at Neva again. And he asked me if, he, if I could buy him some dope. Mm -hmm. No, I cannot. I could try to look around for you. And we stayed out there for about 10 more minutes. I went back inside and holler at Neva. And that was it, came back outside. He wasn't there. Where'd he go? I don't know. When he left, he left with Gabriel in the back of his truck. And this is a win. Around what time? Did she give, did she give you a time? Well, when he left, he was only there once. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. And then at night, and after dark, I mean, hours after dark. No, I'm more than that. A few hours after dark. When, to be a, at least when he around. left, he left with Gabriel in his truck. I mean, he said, uh -huh. I left with Gabriel in my truck. Uh -huh. I mean, I know that. I mean, it's on. I'm, I'm just saying. speaking on that part. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, he did. Mm -hmm. He didn't know Gabriel's thing. He's talking about the dude. He said, I left with the dude that was all, mm -hmm. you know, fucked up or whatever in, in my truck. Boy. And he left, just pulled up after some dope. Did he get the dope? If he got the dope, he didn't mention it. Okay. Which I would I mean, I mean that's, not, that's not that unusual. That's what I'm saying, because it's a whole different situation now. It's not that unusual if he... Because yeah, nobody had nothing over there, so he didn't have no, that much time to be over the period, so if he couldn't be over there. Who, me, but... That's some other shit. They shouldn't even get this deep on my gap. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm more confused. It shouldn't even be this deep on my gap. It shouldn't be. I agree. You know. When it was her house, it was his truck. I kind of thought uh, maybe you had just ended up being there at the wrong freaking time. You gotta help the friend out. Obviously, if I, basically that too. Obviously, if I had to keep pulling up, you know, seeing it the first time I, you know, got there and mm -hmm. seen the guy like. Okay, I don't want to be here. Neither would he need her up so we go. No, can't be. I came back. The third time is the time uh, the white boy was there. The third time I came back, he was still there. So <laughs> when I, I told you I had, came in, seen the white guy left, he was still there. So I really wasn't going to come back out of that. You know, y'all y'all doing too much. It's too much for me. And I really didn't want to be there. So I'll try to exit myself out of the situation as much as I can to avoid this moment right here, you know. I, I didn't want nothing to do with nothing. I believe if you want to know my answer on what the whole situation probably been, it was probably somebody got in their feelings too quickly, made a stupid decision put other people into it, basically, with that decision. And running away from the outcome. Now we have to go through this. And a lot of uh, people lost to you, Mr. Neva. Neva, my friend, I don't want to see you. Who's that? Neva, Neva, she's my friend. Yeah. And that's what the... Neva, and now I'm at the mother of my child's house. San Andreas, the father shit going on. <laughs> like, movie shit. I've never been to no shit like that. I mean, I've never wanted to, but. This is crazy, though. I never think it would be this deep. I don't know. But then, well, the thing is, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. But my thing, what I'm afraid of happening is, I know that people don't ever want to talk about what other people do. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the code that I think that a lot of people have. Yeah, what about me? Huh? What about me? But people don't want to talk about what they're doing. And I get that. Mm -hmm. I completely get that. And I get that people, people a lot of times don't want to talk about what they did. Mm -hmm. 
they think that their friends aren't going to talk about what they do. And they think mm-hmm. that that it's best to not be honest about what happened. Most of the time. I'm yeah. just saying that my experience. Yeah, 50% of the change, 50% of the time, uh, things that you would, you would get information on, they'll be here say anyway. You know? But it won't be, because... No, 50%. That's why you have a percentage on it. Do what? A percentage comes from hearsay. A percentage. Mm-hmm. But my experience in sitting here talking to people that I've been doing this for almost 10 years in this position, mm-hmm. I'm talking to people, is that most of the time when people, a lot of people that sit across from me mm-hmm. in your situation, um, mm-hmm. you know, they will and they do talk about what other people do. Mm-hmm. Even I'm sure their friends would be like, man, they would never do that. Mm-hmm. And you might be sitting here thinking, do you need to really say anything or not? Is he no, no, no. I mean, you might be like, is he messing with me, trying to yeah. do anything she did? I believe she did. I've always, you know found, why? I've always found that the best way to talk to people is with honesty. Mm-hmm. I'm honest with you, you're honest with me. Mm-hmm. We communicate that way. If I lie to you, what good is that for you or me? Like, no, I, I really do think you, you tell the truth about everything you even said. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything I even said was the truth because then it'll be hearsay. But like I said, that's my friend. So. But if I tell you what Eva told me mm-hmm. and you know in your mind and you know in your heart mm-hmm. that what she told me is true, and, then and, you're like. And then also, people might get wrong impressions on things like for the time being. Like what? Like you said, she said, I did leave with the white boy. She probably, she really didn't know if we was outside or not, my, my brother. So, you well, right. know from and, there. And, and I think that would be... Another. I think that's a valid thing for you to say. I mean, yeah, maybe she doesn't know. Maybe yeah. did, maybe she, for all she knew. Uh, but that's what I'm when, saying, when, when you go back to the her. fact that, that the white boy says you left with him, mm-hmm. and you go back to the fact that there's the video, and you go back to the fact that there's all the blood from that dude in, in the truck. Like, so whose phone is this one? That uh, is Jason's. Okay. Is he out there? Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. talking about we'll sure she gets it. But you know what I mean? So when you when you add up all of that, mm-hmm. it's like, it starts to look like, you know, you didn't leave with OB, you left with white. Mm-hmm. But I guess, and so then the question becomes a why. What, what's exactly. the, what, the why behind it? And then I think the why can go from just follow me on this, okay? Mm-hmm. The why could go from hypothetically being to get rid of <coughs> somehow. Uh, the why could be go finish the guy off, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm just single with me. Hypothetically, okay. on this far side, it could be the why to go finish the guy off. Okay. It could be to make sure the why guy does something. Mm-hmm. On this side, it could be because. The white guy said, hey, he gave me a ride somewhere. I didn't really know what he was planning to freaking do with this guy. It could be all the way from over here to over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it could be that if I got in a car with him that night, and we got this dude in the the back that that these other people have messed up. Yeah. He's bleeding. That's why he's in the back. You don't want him in the front. Mm -hmm. And... I get in the car with this dude and this dude drives somewhere. I think he's going somewhere else. We'll end up at Carriage House. And I look back there and this dude's like trying to get, get him out of the back of the truck. And I'm like, I mean, just go with me hypothetically. Mm-hmm. And, I'm like, I'm listening. and I'm like, shoot, hurry up. We're going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? Hurry up. I might go back and be like, you know, mm-hmm. I can see that. Let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this guy had in mind. I don't know what's going through his head. But yeah. I did it because, I mean, shoot. I mean, what's going to happen if the cops roll up? And you two are back there, and mm-hmm. this guy's all mm-hmm. fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And y'all, I mean, what's gonna happen then? I would rather get out of there. You know what I'm saying? You, most people would be the same. Yeah, I think. So that's on this end, and on this end is we were going together to finish this dude off. Yeah. And maybe it's somewhere in the middle. And maybe we didn't really. Care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe it's not like we didn't really want him to die. We didn't really care. We can't leave him here. So he's, Whatever. Yeah. Figure we'll put him there. Someone will find him or he'll go up to church house and yeah. whatever. After yeah. that, it's not yours to worry about. It. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just middle. Yeah. What do you think? But it's, I think it could be anywhere from that. Because mm-hmm. you, you have to have an open mind for that. You, you have to. Really you have to. Yeah. But 
that whole thing can only be explained by the people that were there and what they were thinking. I wasn't there and I wasn't in the situation, so I don't know what it was being done. Mm-hmm. And you also have to look at it with two people are there. One person might be thinking over here, and one person might be thinking over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or anywhere, or anywhere in between. But I'll tell you, the person over here has a whole lot more to hide than the person over here. Do mm-hmm. you do that? Yeah. 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 I still, yeah. The farther you move this way, the more mm-hmm. you have to hide, the more reason you have not to mm-hmm. talk about it. Yeah. And the further you move over here, the more reason you have to talk about it, for one, because we can explain it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. you agree with that? Or? Yeah, yeah. I can listen totally to this. Yeah, okay. Because you have to uh, keep your mind open on things like that. Always. This is the thing. But all these things have you somewhere in this spectrum. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. As long as we know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, y'all could have called, y'all could have got my number from somebody and said, meet me up here at the detective's office. We want to talk to you. <laughs> well, uh, I did not know that that was going to happen to me. I did not know that. There was somebody okay. else that was looking for you. And that, I just got called and said, hey, that they thought you were at the house. And uh-huh. we got there shortly before we came up here, to be honest with you, okay? Okay. I just want, I kind of want to know about that too, because... Another detective called me and was like, hey, this, uh, Mr. Lights is over at this house. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that that was going to happen. We don't take part in that plan. So, <laughs> to be honest with you, yeah, I was eating. Fair game. <laughs> so... We don't get all the cool stuff. <laughs> so if we talk about it though, I mean somewhere on the scale I mean, it falls somewhere in there. And maybe it falls more in the middle. But if I'm there with this white dude that I don't know, we got Gabriel on the back and Gabriel's messed up. I could see myself getting out to help this white dude get him out of his truck so that we're not both sitting there with him in the back of the truck if, if a cop rolled by or something like that. Uh-huh. Or somebody else rolled by and then they caught the cops on. Uh-huh. Not necessarily that I did anything wrong. Yeah. I don't want to. I just don't want to get in trouble for something I didn't do. So maybe I will put him out on the ground and get out of there. Let's bust out of there. Maybe he did. <laughs> there you go. But what about you? What about me? Where would you fall in? I fall in no category of that. Because it's way more than just you're saying. Basically, there's three people here in a situation. Me, white guy, and Gabriel. I'm s- right. This, this. I even. I can't. I, I'm not even gonna explain why. Like, why I don't even shouldn't even do that because I don't even know the white guy like that. Okay. That trust only as far, you know. But it's 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 more people in the house. Okay. You know. Who? It's more people I even don't know in the house. Jacob, he left a long time ago. I didn't expect him to come back. Why not? His brother, I don't know. I really don't. Because if he said he was friend, he was free, he would have came back and, you know, made sure she was okay. So it wasn't going down like that. So I did, I'm the one that did that, came back and made sure he was okay. What do you mean, come back and make sure he was okay? Like, uh, E, we'll, we'll run out, she was running out of generator for being on the island on that. that. That's gas when you're right there. So. She has no job and she has kids and stuff like that, so I'm a good friend as far as that, so that's what I mean by coming back, check on her, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna get some of you want some cigarettes. Okay, I got some cigarettes, you know. Why do you take care of her? I don't take care of her. Well, I'm just saying, why are you doing when I first her? When I first met her, and it was like on a friend level, we were gonna drink and stuff like that, she mm-hmm. had it. And then when I met her, more deeply, yep. the situation was way deeper than you would think. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was always people over there. Why are they over there? Because she, she's the type of person that won't say no. Yeah. A lot of people go over there? Yeah. For what reasons? reasons? Uh, money, dope, uh, family memories. Just the spot, huh? Yeah, basically. And I was gonna try to like move that around because I don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's not for her. You deal with anybody else that owns the house over there besides her? Or? 
I deal with uh, a lot of people on and off for the simple fact that they got into it with me. Mm-hmm. She didn't like something they did. Like her cousin, for example. Mm-hmm. She was taking advantage of Geneva, you know. And point in time she wasn't liking it. So uh, give her advice, you know, you call the police. You know, uh, you give her a 30 day notice. Mm-hmm. To get her out? Yeah. You trust Geneva? Mm-hmm. You can trust anywhere as far as you get thrown, but yeah. more than you trust the other people there. That way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, um, I really don't trust. I wouldn't. Yeah, like I said, I trust Neil more than anybody else I've met over there. So mm-hmm. I don't know. You might be wrong for doing that. I give everybody their own chance. Why would she be putting you on business? Because she probably feels like out of everybody that probably was there or showed up at the moment, I'll be the one that's actually gonna want her to not take something for somebody else. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to know her position, that's why I can to explain as much as I can for her to get her. She, it, it, it was so bad. It's trying to protect her. Exactly. But you won't have, she had no. She was basically thrown into this situation How? for the simple fact that if it went down like you disrespect me, but I'm at her house, uh-huh. but I go out my way. Jacob, but, I, but I'm a good friend of yours, also. And I go out my way and shoot this man. I'm putting you in a situation, you know, mm-hmm. because I know, you know, being a good friend that you wouldn't just. 911, this guy named such, 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 just did this in my house. You know? mm-hmm. She's not going to turn to me. Because exactly. are Jacob and Neva friends? From what I understand, yeah. Are they better friends than you and Neva? Actually, I think um, you know her longer than I know Neva. Well, does what it necessarily think? mean you're closer, though? Do you carry a gun? Who? Do you carry a gun? No. Whose gun was at the distance, so. She gave the cops a, a three. Who? Who was at the house? Okay. Just. Whose gun is that? I don't know. Maybe your brother's. Is it possible that that's the gun that was used to shoot Gabriel? Um, pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure. Let me yeah. ask you the next news. If you're saying that you didn't go with the white gun. With the video and what other people are saying, says it other was. people. So yeah, more than one person says it was. Mm-hmm. But you say you didn't. If it's something that that's it's that simple that I explained that it could be from being from innocent to to, to sinister. Mm-hmm. But you want you you gotta do you, you deny have, that even though the video and other people say that that's what happened. Do you have a sense of good sense of judgment? Yes, and you okay. deny that. Even though that's what the video and other people tell tell us that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And look, video video trumps a lot of things. People tell me stuff all the time. Oh, yeah. I watch a video and some, some they say not on video. I'm like, yeah. I know they're not telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Video video answers a lot of questions. But but you denied that when it could be nothing, something as simple as I didn't know what this wife was going to do, and we can't even get to that point. Then how can I believe you when other people say that you were also involved in beating Gabriel? And you exactly. say you didn't do that either. How can I believe exactly. it? When I know that the other, I know you're lying about going with the white guy. Mm-hmm. I know you're not telling the truth. I know you're not being honest. You know what I mean? So how can I know that you're not being that that you're being honest about not beating? I think like a lot I, of this stuff about everyone beating like I say, is more to spread around the the blame, to spread around the fault. If I'm even in trouble for this, I'm gonna make sure somebody else does. I don't know that's if everybody at the house like. beat. I don't know if everybody at the house beat him or not, but I know that that's what that's what we're being told. I do know what the video from Carriage House says. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Can't fix the video. But you won't even like. We can't even be honest about Carriage House. How do I know we can't even be honest about not beating? Because mm-hmm. the way that it looks there is that all, yeah. basically all that comes down to it is 
when I asked how this interview went from my supervisor, and they're like, hey, how did this go when, when y'all talked about it? One of the things that I always want to know is, is the person that you talk to, one thing that people always care about, and I, and I don't know, that I, that I always understand why, is, is this person a dangerous person, a danger to the community, or is this person a good person that made a mistake, wrong place, wrong time? That happens a lot. Very few people that are really bad people in the community. Mm -hmm. A lot of people end up in the wrong place, wrong time, make some mistakes. And sometimes they make those mistakes more than once, but they're not this bad person. What they're gonna ask me is my, what my thought is on that. And they're also gonna wanna know, well, one of the ways we decide that, are they honest about what happened? Because this person has no reason to be honest about it because they truly are a bad person. This person has every reason to be honest about it because they ended up at the wrong place, at the wrong time, in a situation that really they weren't prepared to deal with and made a mistake or made a decision that they wish they hadn't made or made a decision that they wouldn't make again if they were in the same situation. But they're going to want to know that. And at this point, all I have to say is that, uh, that there's not been any honesty about any of them. That would be a bad sense of judgment. What's that? That would be a bad sense of judgment. It's not a bad sense of judgment. Mm -hmm. It's uh, for what a person knows on we're this not, side of the we're not being we're not being honest about it. We're not being honest about even even the simple thing, even the easy things about going to carriage house. We can't be honest about that. How can I trust that we can be honest about the fact that that you that you took part in, in hitting him with the bat? Um. You tell me, I mean, how can I, how can I know? How can I know that you're being honest with me if you can't be honest about even something simple? That's crazy. I ask you about a gun of destiny. It's either yours or it's hers. It's not the baby's. No, it's, it's not, it's not the answer either. So who says there's more than just the turn of the baby that stays there, the mother, the father, and the brother, and the friends. It's in her room. Hey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, so far, we've not had any honesty. You can check it out. You can check it out, though, on that part. You what? That can be checked out, though, on that part. <laughs> but we don't I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. I, know, I, know I, would, I know what I did, and I know what I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So, so is that her dope in the house, or is it yours? Or is it y'all's? What dope? They found some dope. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's... It could be something. Oh. It might be talking about weed. I don't know. Just say okay. something. Well, it could be mine. could be hers. Could be what? the brothers. I'm could aware. be anybody. I don't, I don't even know. I know that. It could, it could be anybody. But I'm not going to speak on something I really don't know. That part. But you're not being honest about anything. Mm. Anything. You're telling me you were there, except for all of the times when it might be questionable about you being there. You're like, yeah, I was there, but I wasn't there when the guy got beat. I wasn't there when the he was... It was okay. It wasn't okay. And you can see his skull. His skull was exposed. Everyone was aware of this. But oh. he was he was not okay. He wasn't sitting up talking. He wasn't sitting up being silly. It wasn't any of that. And if you're telling me that he was, I know that's also not true. You're saying he wasn't a uh, very responsive. He might have been like making noise. Everybody said he was just making noise and stuff like that. But the other people Yeah, because they, okay, I don't know about that part because they probably were there throughout the day. <clears throat> but when I came by, you said you were in and out all day. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If they were constantly there, like, when I came back, they were you still there the same spot. Times. Yeah. They just saw the same spot. Yeah, he probably was not but tell me he was not. Did he look like yeah. someone to you that you thought was going to survive or not? Uh, that's a question. You ever you, seen anybody beat that bad before? Yeah. Did they live or die? They did. You ever seen someone's skull? Yeah. Did you see his skull? No. I pay attention to that. He was responsive. Like I said, when I see him most of the time, he's like, his hair was, it was even his hair was bloody, so it was hanging. Mm -hmm. And yeah, damn, he's fucked up. But. Did you hear any conversations from the other people about what happened? Makes you listen to his conversations. Yeah, I was listening to the conversations. The conversation that I was mainly listening to was on how the situation came about. You know? Right. Um, not, not like, yeah, I hit him with a bat type thing. I didn't hear anybody mm -hmm. say that. See what started it? Like I said, the, um, he's been getting into it with everybody at the house for at least a week. 
for when I was older. You know, everybody had somebody. Why is he allowed back in there? I get uh my my impression, my first impression was neither told me that that was her cousin or something like that or good friend or uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So okay, cool. As long as everything's good. Yeah. But it seems like not everything's good, right? Everything changed up. Everything changed up. So what's the conversation? So I you guess heard? when huh? What's the conversation you heard? Uh, so Josh was like, he just, uh, disrespected my brother and some shit like that mm-hmm. the same day. And he wasn't happy about it. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about contemplating on what they, they wanted to beat him up. You know, like, come outside, let's fight outside, you know. I was like, okay. That seems pretty fair. If he disrespected you, you know, go outside and have a fight. But like I said, it's not about business. It's just what's going on in my head. They just want to fight the guy. And he didn't. He didn't want to fight. I saw him. And came back. He was beat up. <laughs> we see he's beat up, and you heard before that he didn't want to fight. Um, you didn't ask anybody what happened or what? Good. Did you hear anyone talk about it? I just gave my own self uh, a judgment on that. That's what I thought. I didn't think it would, it, it did get worse. It seemed like it got worse because he would be responsive, but it, it, are y'all go, what are y'all gonna do about this, you know? How long did he sit there for? He's been there throughout the whole day when I kept, when do you I think, left. Do you, think he need, do you think he needed to go to the hospital? Yeah, at one point in time, yeah, yeah. What made you think that? It's, it's, it's too late. It, it, when you're not responding enough to where you have you know, the blood on your face. Blood's caked on. Yeah, you know. I mean, you know, you're just gonna let that happen to your stuff, so. Mm-hmm. What else did I do? Why didn't you call him? Number one, I don't have a phone. Because if you're going in and out, right? Number two, this guy. that wasn't, it really wasn't my, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know, but. I feel like. I didn't want any part of it. Mm-hmm. But if you're getting out of the house, you could have called and make no way the wiser. Mm-hmm. But then you know what happened after that? Kind of like, it would have been like, okay, I'll be calling the uh, ambulance. Okay, we have a guy over here on such such. Mm-hmm. He's bleeding pretty bad. Can you get help over here? Okay, they show up. And uh, people are starting to think, like, dang, well, I had the ambulance just show up over here. Cause I wasn't gonna probably sit there and wait. If I call the ambulance, that'd be the best thing, probably. But you don't have to sit there. You would give them the address, and they were gonna go there and find out what's up. Right. They have people poking around, looking around, trying to find out what's going on with that. And if you do come down, we we have a person that I thought was my associate slash friend coming at me. Maybe want to shoot me. About Jacob. You know. That's probably the, I could say I'm at fault for that. Cause by the end of the day, I had to probably, basically what they're saying is I had to take that chance to see if he would shoot me or not. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure this man is okay. If I would shoot you for all the evidence. That would be most cause. Cause I would be called a snitch after that. A person who had told on him for the simple fact that the you- ambulance would have got there and they wouldn't just say, oh yeah, this man just beat up. We need to find out how to, how this man got like it. Right. And you're, what is, what's a snitch in your opinion? Just a person telling another person being said they probably want the seals on them. You feel like Geneva saying that you were involved in a certain snitch? No. Why not? Like, like I said, she probably feel like I'll protect her some type of way, help her out, you know, get the get. What about the white people saying you're involved? Does that make him a snitch? He really doesn't know me, so what do you have to tell about? Well, I told you what he said. I mean, Said that you Both of their stories are the exact same. <coughs> did he say Meech? Yeah. <coughs> he never knew he my name. He didn't know your name. He described you, but he didn't know your name. <coughs> he said he'd never seen you until that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only person I think he said he knew was another girl who was there. Another girl who was there. But the mm-hmm. one he said he didn't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So the girl that. I didn't know, called him over there. 
<laughs> that's the only person who said that he he knew. And then that's how I ended up. It's easy so we it's it's like so much so much shit one time it goes on. Like you can't even keep up. Like a whole different situation over here. Mm-hmm. Whole different situation over here. Come together, you know what was going on. Now you might get the wrong impression on what's really going on, you know, so there's one thing that helps us figure out what's going on. Video. Cool. Yeah. I mean, because you're right. Sometimes it's hard to know. Person says one thing, person says another thing, different people saying different things. Mm-hmm. When you lay a video over the top of it, those things become pretty clear. Sure does. Like, let's take a lot of you for example. He says, he says, no, no, we just took him over to Carrot's house because we figured he could, uh, he'd be able to go and get some help over there. Mm-hmm. He said, I pulled up, he jumped out the back, walked in. And I was like, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, yeah, that. And then I tell him what, what the video shows, and he's like, yeah, you're right. But he says, look, I didn't know. I didn't know he died. He said, I didn't know he died. He said, I thought by leaving there, someone, someone will find him, or he would be able to go up there and get some help at the carriage house, and I'm just burned out. I mean, that's a pretty public place, right? You've been there before? Yeah. I just heard about the place. Isn't it? Yeah, you know, just drew line. Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's all these people there. There's people there walking around all, all times of the day and night. People check in, they come in late. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, he's like, and people, I get why I said what he said. I mean, he's worried about it. He's worried that. But you don't want to be the one getting caught with him in the car, right? I wouldn't know who's calling him anymore. So let's leave him at a place that a lot of people go, but we're not going to be too close. You can't drop him at the front, right? I don't think nobody in their right mind would do that. Mm-hmm. So you trying I mean, to do a little matter, bit in between? Matter, fact, matter of fact, I think somebody would not do that. Why? Why would you just drop him at the hospital if you can go public? Exactly, because it'd be right there in front. I mean, you just drop him at the front of the ER and be rolled off. <laughs> but that's a little bit more risky, right? Yeah. <laughs> I so guess. go to a place that probably don't have cameras, right? Would you think that place has cameras? Just looking at the outside of it? Is it the nicest Never hotel you've ever seen? No. Do you think that place has good cameras? I've never probably. even like, paid attention to it like that. You know what I mean? Well, like, do you think a place would invest in a camera system yeah, if it uh, looks like what that? I heard, you know what I mean? Off what I heard, no, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why would you... Why would you spend the money when they're in the front of it looks like crap? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Why don't you get new beds or something? So, yeah. you, just said, you just said no one in their right mind would drop them off at the front. And yeah, then you're yeah. like, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, like, like maybe in their right mind would do it. Because if they don't know what they're getting into, just jump into a situation. Yep. And uh, they say the man's responsive and drop off somewhere so I can see him quickly. Mm-hmm. Or, you know. So you don't want Neva getting stuck with that, right? Yeah, I think it's, you did I'll switch it. it. Nobody would. You switched it, and the reason you switched it is because you're worried about that situation. No, dude, you have to put yourself in that shoe. If you weren't in the right mind, or if you were or not, if you wanted to save, I mean, at least, like I said, it sounds like the white boy was brought into the situation out of nowhere. So if he was in his right mind, you probably would have just be like, okay, and drop him off here. Hopefully, somebody sees him and he can get help mm-hmm. instead of just going straight to the emergency room. But why doesn't everyone just leave? Who's gonna get stuck? Maybe still would probably, but right? Right. Because who's tied to that apartment the most? Mm-hmm. It's Neve, right? Yeah. Who are you gonna come talk to you first? <laughs> no, right. Yeah. So no one wants that on Neve, right? Because she's been cool. She takes care of people. Yeah. So it makes sense. What? Why are they? Yeah. One thing, one thing that it comes down to, and I, I think it's important that you think about this. 
is that when this case gets looked at, Neva, the white guy, in the video, all support the same thing, that you were there when the white guy dropped the dude off at the church house. And I've already thrown out just some examples, and, and I could be way off of my examples, maybe something outside of that. Uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, of him being taken over there to get finished up. Did he say he came hang on, originally? Hang on. Uh, you know, somewhere of the person that went over there to finish him off, or the person that was just happened to be in the car with him whenever he decided to do what he was going to do. You dismiss all of the explanations between the two. As that's any explanation you would be there. So I got to assume that none of that's the reason you would be there. Either that or maybe it's way on the left. Maybe y'all want him to die. Maybe you thought he would die. Maybe y'all thought he would die. Maybe that's what people wanted to happen. I don't know. But as people look at it, and it's like, really, you can say you didn't do it all you want. You can say you weren't there all you want. But there's evidence you were there. There's the other people involved as witnesses that you were there. That you dismiss it all like you weren't there. That doesn't change any of that. Mm-hmm. What are people going to believe? And then they're going to be left to their own conclusions because you don't offer a conclusion. You don't offer an explanation. So people are going to make their own explanation. Mm-hmm. And people are like, well, I wouldn't tell if I was doing something bad. And other people are like, well, I would tell them if I was, wasn't doing something bad. I would at least try to clear this up. You don't offer anything. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. And so it makes me think but, that maybe it is more on this side over here. Maybe y'all are mad at him because he's a pervert. But you know what? Nobody the likes life. dudes. That's the way of life. Nobody it's likes be, It's always going to be in God's room. Why would you interfere with what he got going on in his life? Because so I have my own problems. You know, but people do. Because yeah, we live in a society where we all interfere with people's lives. It don't piss you off that people do Well, that's your kids or kids? Uh... Of course, it, it doesn't necessarily piss me off, but it's like, I know that's not right. It's not. I wouldn't want nobody to do that anywhere. You're kids. I mean, you're talking about yeah. little kids, not like, not about like teenagers, we're talking about little kids. But I wouldn't go out of my way and make a judgment on somebody else's life. Well, maybe not, but if somebody else had already made the judgment, no. And he was left, because maybe Jacob and, and these guys did this, and they left, and now Neva's got this dude in her Just house. What is she dude. supposed to do with this dude? What if he dies in her house? She, What's she gonna do? She's out of there. She's gonna get out of there. Well, no, it doesn't matter. It's her house. We're still gonna find her. We're gonna find out who has that house. Jacob yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, out of there. My, my girl, Jacob didn't do her any favors. No. No, hell no. He didn't do anybody a favor. He left, he left her to clean up the mess that he made. Maybe her friends helped her do that. Maybe that's what it is. Because I was thinking, why is my friend get stuck with something that they had? And now um, Neva was all up in the middle of this. Very likely, had Jacob just taking care of his own business. Nobody's involved in this. But mm-hmm. Jacob. And his own people too. Mm-hmm. And he don't bring anyone else. so dry. Do what? I know. And it's, and it seems so dry because I can't even seem to put myself in Jacob's situation on what this man has going on in his life and how he would say something disrespectful to me to where I'm still, you know, make God's choice, try to make it God's choice. And then leave somebody else up to it, so. It's pretty jacked up just to leave somebody be like that. But not only that, no, you're out. maybe the dude had it coming. Maybe he did. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he did. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes people do. Do you agree? I agree with I agree. We all do those you know where I You know where I try to put myself in that situation? Out the way. I know. You but know. we all agree sometimes people have it coming. Yeah. Neva didn't have it coming. Neva didn't need to be stuck. No, don't don't declare that. She don't declare that. Seems like she does anything she can for people, right? You are inviting everybody into your house. What would Neva do if that dude ended up dead or unresponsive at her house? Maybe it was nothing more that we got to help Neva out. She would have yeah. The best thing she had to do at that time is she would have been in a mess. She would have. Now she's already in a little bit of a mess because of other people making stupid decisions. It don't even seem like it was a decision at all. It's just the uh, decision made after the action. What do you mean? Thinking, uh, not thinking before you, you know. Who are you speak. talking about? The shape of Jacob. I believe he had to think about the situation after he maybe got triggered happy or however he felt about the situation. 
you know, it was, it was not worth do? it. Huh? What's she gonna do after they say call? What I mean, they say what you did, I guess. What, what sit there? She sat there with you? I don't know. She didn't I'm saying, saying. What you, you coming doing? in and out, right? Like, what is she doing? No, what are you this saying? Dude? So you're coming in and she, out of the house, and oh, this dude, she, this she's dude. basically thinking that they're gonna, somebody's gonna go oh, and fix it. Exactly. Man. How can you undo that? You think you're just gonna come back and be like, oh, sorry, buddy? Wrong, when, but somebody fix it by getting this dude out of here, or set him up somewhere else, so he's not here, so he's not there. Yeah. All right, man. That's all right, too much. That's like hot potato. Back in the it's not too much. Then, it's not too much because what cause, else? Because you, you know, but the theory is about the thing is, if somebody does that, you know, there's your consequences you're supposed to, supposed to, already be on up to that, instead of like no, I mean, making somebody else know. fall for that. You know, especially somebody that would look out for you. But you and I both know the streets so don't play that way. It's always about it's about me, 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 right? Sometimes if it's your family or your brother, it's not that way. Not many people fall in the Ninety-nine percent of the time, it's about. Mm, yeah, that's what people are gonna think first of all. Mm-hmm. First, go self-preservation. First, yeah. It's a, it's natural instinct. It's biological. Mm-hmm. And everybody's trying to get off on everybody else. But next comes taking care of others, right? Mm-hmm. The ones you care about. You already said you care about Neva. Mm-hmm. You already said you care about Neva, right? Mm-hmm. But she wants to protect you and you want to protect her, right? Mm-hmm. Now if she's sitting here with this this guy in her living room bleeding all over the place, what's she going to do? Just let him keep bleeding? See what happens? Or maybe we're going to take him somewhere where maybe he'll be found. And it, it said the first one seemed like yeah, out of all day, if it was so he like, keeps getting worse, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe they thought maybe he'll get better. Maybe he'll just walk out of here and everything will be good. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, never know. Did you know? Yeah, what? No, if you would did that, yeah. You, you could tell he wouldn't go walk out of there and get good, right? Huh? You could tell he ain't about to just get up and walk out of here. By the, by the third time, I can't. Okay. So but he keeps so. declining, right? He keeps yeah, getting worse. worse. Was, At first, you're like, well, maybe, you know, and then you're like, well, maybe he needs medical help. And the last, yeah, you're like, like he's, he's not doing good at all. Yeah. And so you got to right. get him out of there. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got to do something because. <laughs> what do we got to do? No, I'm talking about. Because I said he wants that guy dying in the yeah. apartment, right? That's what I need to. What kind of, what kind of mess is she in if, if he goes unresponsive in the apartment? Mm. So if we drop him off at a hotel, people are constantly going. To the front, maybe that's the so we'll find him, make, get him what he needs. Yeah, that's what we're all back to square one. And if you can't sound good, you did look good. That's the theory. Uh-huh. Right? Not every theory exactly. pans out. It does sound good. Yeah, no, you, say, right. you say it doesn't look good, but it looks no, fine. No, I say it does. It. I mean, it looks I good. I say it doesn't. I say it does. And it, it looks good, though, if somebody does find him and call an ambulance. And, you know what I'm saying? Then it looks fine. Then it's no problem. Mm-hmm. And it, it it was, you let the situation be up that far um, to where if you look at it at first, the, all the traffic that goes through, anything can happen, you know? Mm-hmm. You think about but the- nobody's not even going to expect this. Yeah. First off top, you know? Well, no one expected Jacob to shoot him, though, right? No. Did you think he'd shoot him? Dude, yeah. Did it ever come across your brain? Never. Why? I mean, he's, he I mean, made that decision, right? Yeah. yeah he, he, he serviced, the, uh, my understanding, he served his time for that, whatever he, uh, they found out him being a uh, registered sex offender. And, mm-hmm. you know, Tom Gabriel. That, that's, yeah, that's his, he, he did that. That's his okay. burden to bear. So now, if he, now, if he were to keep on doing that, that's on him, you know, he had karma. Not but, everyone feels that way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You I can't I mean? think for him. Yeah, I just don't like, no, I still wouldn't do that. That's that's too cruel. Cool. It's like that. Yeah. Just go off mindset. I mean, first thing it's up my mind, shoot this motherfucker. He just straight me in. He's on top of this. And, but know. I do think you're a person that will want to take care of you. And the last thing you want is for nah, him to go unresponsive nah. in her house. 
Right. Yeah, of course. I mean, a common sense. Because at that point, you're thinking, well, there's maybe a way we can get him somewhere where he can get help. Or there's something. a chance somebody's going to come by here and, and they're going to take you. Even if we call, we're away from it at this point. We're good to go. I was, uh, at the point, when I walked in with a white guy, go ahead and call somebody because I hope you don't think you're going to go to sleep with this guy in the house. So call an ambulance. What are y'all gonna do? They're gonna have to ask a question. Right? And where? Yeah. Let's say you call them right then. Mm -hmm. White guy's there. You start calling them right then. What, what are the animals gonna do? You already said it once. Yeah. They're gonna wanna know what happened to the guy, right? Yeah. He didn't just fall off the couch. Exactly. And so you gotta get him somewhere where you're not around. When he was not around. If he gets this far, then where you have to let the story go anyway, my as well they go right then and there because Jacob wasn't your friend in the first place if he did this and left you high and dry with, you know. You lost guy. You know, so. It's too risky to take him to the hospital. There's too many people. You might as well call the ambulance first. That's the first instant you should do because if you gotta tell a story to them, but what if you, you start, gotta tell a story to somebody else. What if you start worrying that it's been this long? That's gonna be on the person that it's really owns people. the house. Yeah, people, right? Exactly. So. What decision is she going to make? Mm -hmm. well, it's not just her decision. There's other people there making calls. Yeah, but it has to be on her conscience mostly since it's mm. under her name, her house. I know. She, I know, but I want you to think about this whenever we talk to her about it. Mm. Of all of the things that she could have said, it's true. she said, Meach and the white guy. We call him Chief. Mm. Anyway, the white guy, I said, Meach um. and the white guy. Took him in the white guy's truck. Mm. And where was his anger? So. Uh, I, and I could be, and I could be missing something on that. Did she say that he had, that there was another girl that went, or was that another time or something? She, was, she definitely said that means in chief. The yeah, the only part about this is took, took I could have got the wrong impression. But that's one thing I was trying to ask you earlier, Mike. I didn't want to interrupt you because you had to tell me about it. He came over there for the A girl, whoever this is. Yeah. Right? That's what you said. It's my understanding, yes. Where is it? Wait. She's one of Neva's friends. I know. I think I know he's on. I heard about her. But I don't, I don't know. Well, where'd she go? Is she, is she speaking on me? Does she know me? Hmm. Or did she, did y'all get any contact with her? I don't understand. I mean, she hangs out with me. Like, she's around. I mean, I think she also hangs around Villa and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So he comes for the a girl and she just disappears. But you know, like I told you too, I mean, it could have been, he says he came for the A girl, but really he came for, uh, but he came for Bell, but he said he asked for it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but sometimes people are afraid to say that when we talk to them. I ain't never seen it yet. Do you deal with any work? I have before. As far as the stuff that was in the house today, where did they what? come from? What? Or uh, me with me with No, at your girl's house. Oh, my baby mama. Yeah. Some of them. No, no. Before we, I don't. I didn't remember her first name. I want to. I want to talk about this though. Before we talk about that. I mean, you know, we, we're sitting here talking about the the options available are call him and us mm. or get this dude out. And you you were saying, you know, we're talking about the white dude and you're talking about. He was left with a choice to make. Mm -hmm. Of all the things that Neva could have said about what happened, Neva says, Meach and the white guy with the, the Gabriel mm -hmm. in the white dude's truck, which mm -hmm. that happened. He, the white, the Gabriel did get in the white dude's truck. Yeah. He did See, end up in the truck over there in Carrot's house. The only thing I think about that is because. Out of all those things. Out of old girl, hey, wherever this other girl is, I do not know about. I told the, the white guy when he did ask for the work, I said, I might be able to give it to him. I mean, not give it to him, get it for him. Yeah. But 
<coughs> we all leave out the door. I, I go to LB and um, I guess they do their thing or whatever. I don't know where the girl, who it is, how, how that even came about. Probably looked over it, probably too many people, but I don't understand how this person can be called, the white guy, the white guy can be called before I was there. And then I pull up and come after him again for that third time. And the girl disappears who caught him over there. That's the pressure I'm getting. Neither didn't call him. Neither don't know this guy. Like, I don't think even knows this guy. This this other girl, I guess, gave. He says that the girl gave him the drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In my understanding, correct me if, if, if you have a different understanding of this, is that. He was originally Neva says forward. that you, the other girl, and the white guy left to go get this guy to find him. Okay. In his truck. Okay. That's yeah. what she's saying. Yeah. Is that true? Is that what she's saying? Yes. Me. Yes. You, this other girl, I don't, that know, or saying, I don't even know who that is. The other girl that Never was there. Seen. And the white guy left to go find the white guy. Or, no. That's not I told him. Why would Neva lie to that's the impression she was getting. That's what I'm saying. It might be a wrong impression. I was with FB. The white guy came over. He, he, I guess he came over and didn't find what he was looking for. Asked me if I could get it for him. I told him I might be able to get it for him. What did he want? He wanted some dope. How what? He wanted methamphetamine. How much? I don't know. But. <laughs> did he have money? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, if he wanted some dope. I mean, he'd have to tell you kind of what he looked like for. I mean, because you're going to come back with a, yeah, an ounce if he ain't got enough for an ounce. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. I don't know how much I sell. I don't keep it. I don't, I don't like, because I don't know that, you know? Yeah. I don't do you know, what you're talking about. But no, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I have these ounces where I understanding about what was going to happen here. What if you'd come back with an ounce and he'd be like, uh, I got <laughs> 50 bucks? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, so I just tell him I look around, you know? Which I probably really wasn't because I don't know the guy. I didn't. But Did you ever get in this truck? No. For any reason, any of your DNA would ever be in this truck? No. No reason at all? It shouldn't be. No, no, it shouldn't be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. No. 100%. Yeah. Okay. No hairs, no fibers, no sweat, fingerprints, mm -hmm. no nothing in this truck. Zero. I told you, I didn't even know what his truck looked like. I don't even know if he walked up or not. But the car I got had the black tribute Mazda. What's LB? Yeah. What's LB's name? LB. LB what? LB. Literally, when I met the guy, I said, I, I said, let me see your ID. He says LB. He's the number four. He said, the four? Yeah. Where'd y'all go when you left? Who? When you and LB left Neva's house. To the house. You go? Whose house? His house. Which is where? 52nd. Yeah. Oh, I can't even think. It's been a minute. How do you talk? Facebook. Where do you, how do you use Facebook? Wi-Fi. On this phone? No. Okay. What phone do you have? Uh, Galaxy Go. Galaxy Go. Where is it? At the house. At the distance house? Uh, either there or the address I gave you. The house up in the second street? Mm -hmm. So, if he uses Wi Fi, every time it hits Wi Fi. Even mobile hotspot. Well, anytime it hits Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. 
they give the location. Yes, sir. That's how it knows where it's at on the network. We should, yeah. So, every, so when you go back to it, but that night, Saturday night, it's going to show you going from A to B. From, from Neva's house to 52nd Street and no one else. Mm-hmm. And no one else. Do you have it with you, Neva? Um, pretty sure I did. I don't understand why I wouldn't. Sure. And it wouldn't show any reason why you'd be anywhere in here. There you go. There would never be any <laughs> DNA, any hairs, any, anything coming up. For any reason, anything you have would have to do with blood on it. Nope. No? Yeah. Uh, nope. This is a um, carpet going through. Did you help take the carpet out of Nina's house? No. What about the couch? Hell no. <laughs> I'm touching, I'm just nothing. So told y'all weren't even there that long, you doing anything. I guess location for that shit. Would you help Neva take the carpet and couches out of her house if she asked you to? Mm, that's a question I probably don't have an answer to. Honestly. Would you help take Gabriel out of her house if she asked you to? Probably don't have an answer to that either. Okay. Honestly. That night, if she'd asked me to take Gabriel out of her house when he was all messed up, would you have helped him? I just can't even answer to the questions. <laughs> I don't think she would do it, but so, to get on another level, I don't think she would let me. I don't think she would me. I don't think she would put me in that situation. She says she did, and she says you did. So. Basically, she put you in this situation. I don't know why she wouldn't put you in that situation. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, me personally, it just what can you do? Because without her giving us your name, you basically just a dude on a video. Because mm-hmm. other guy don't even know. Exactly. So if she did put you, she put you in this situation. She said they would put you in that situation. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just going. Like I said, she's my good friend, so the only thing I can think of is it was a wrong impression. I don't know if there's a whole lot of impressions given that right now. Everybody seems to be pretty clear on everything that happened. What did everybody? The people at the house, especially me. Okay. Me was dad. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean. I mean, I mean, it's pretty clear that was a pretty big event for these people. I, I don't know. think that it's every day that you have some dude that's gets beat like that at her house. That's probably a first. Exactly. That's why the the location is like this is probably a first time. Moving. So that's what I'm saying. It's not like this was some I don't think I got the wrong impression. I maybe I remember I maybe I don't know. Yeah. She remembers. She remembers the dude's skull showing through his head. I mean showing Of course she probably does. Yeah she does. Of course she is. Everybody does. But it's all Yeah. I remember seeing it when I saw it on Sunday morning. It's a shocking thing to see. I mean, no matter how many times you've seen it, it's like one of those things that you look at and you're like, mm. you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not right. There's always something off about that. No matter how many times you see stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. I don't care what about it. And we've gone over, over, like, I'll all these scenarios the from... We're going over all these scenarios from maybe you're just trying to offer help to help mm-hmm. Neva because mm-hmm. the bind that she's going to be in if, if this dude goes unresponsive at her house mm-hmm. to maybe you didn't like this dude maybe because of his past or maybe he's disrespectful to you or her or whatever mm-hmm. maybe you wanted, wanted me to die I mm-hmm. don't know we've gone from there's all these things in between yet you don't you don't have any explanation for anything you've offered mm-hmm. nothing exactly it's like it's only so much I can't offer when you're not there to, like, to participate in the shit that people are putting you into, you know. 
and I kind of feel like, yeah, these certain people are not my friend. But you was your friend. And it's more than just people who are switching up stories on like who was there. No one switched up anything. No, everything. Well, know? the stories are consistent as they can be. No one was switched up. Both of No one was like, this is what happened. No, no, whatever. It wasn't like that. It was this or here. No, no. it's like, this is what happened. I remember this. This was yeah. two days ago. Yeah. This was a big deal. Yeah. This was such a big deal. Ripped all the carpet and furniture out of Neva's house mm. to make sure to <laughs> get rid of all of this big deal. This was yeah. a big deal. Yeah. People aren't confused about what they saw, and not confused about what they did, not confused about what they heard. Exactly. They're not. Exactly. It's not a normal day. If you ask me what I did exactly. last Tuesday, I might not be able to remember if nothing happened big yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. But there's days you could ask me about that happened 10 years ago, I couldn't remember exactly where I was, or whatever, because something big happened that day. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. remember it exactly. I'm sure you're the same way. Mm-hmm. There's probably things you remember that were years ago, but you remember them like they were this morning. Because mm-hmm. they're not everyday routine and stuff. Yeah. That's this kind of, that's the way this day was for me. I think that's the way this day was for probably everyone there. Except for our audience. Except for our audience, man. So quick. But. Stories aren't confused and not mixed up, man. One thing I was confused about was the A girl. Besides that, I'm not confused about anything else. It was too much for me to see. So I wanted to move around. That's the only reason why I moved around so fast so we could just see. All the locations that we all looked up. I didn't want to stay there for the, uh, so tell us what happened. Extended amount of time, you know. So that's what I like, going there as we know what's going on. So let's hash this out honestly, the truth from the beginning to the end. The truth about life. That's, what, that's all I need. It's not all it's, I tell you. Yeah, uh, I believe you're telling me some of the stuff you know, you're not telling me all of it. So what are you trying to do? That's easy. I'm thinking where do I start from a week? No, mm-hmm. let's talk about Saturday. Let's talk about Saturday. Mm-hmm. What happened from the beginning to the end? Well, my Saturday is going to be different like everybody else's. I wasn't there the whole time. So when I did wake up, I uh, went to get some cigarettes with my mother. Went to Divas. There was a guy on the ground. He's beat up, not beat up that bad. His blood, his blood is not, but it's extended through time. And it got he, worse. Where was he beaten from? Um, maybe uh, a little from his face, not up here. Um, it wasn't that, because it was like a glob of blood up here later on in the day. Where they say it was, but it was basically more back of his head and a shirt, a shirt. It was actually blood and shirt. What was he wearing? Color. Um, I really didn't pay attention like that. You said you saw it, it was red, shirt. yeah. It was red. The blood, the blood or the shirt? The blood. It's like wet. You can see it. It's getting on the floor. Do you know what color his shirt was? Was he wearing a shirt? Yeah, he was wearing a shirt. You said he saw blood on his shirt. I don't know if he was a shirt. I don't know what color. I don't know what color. I forgot what color. Okay. Good one. But, I mean, he's he's responsive. I mean, he's responsive. He's, he's talking shit. Okay. What's he saying? He, he's really not he's speaking to anybody in specific. He's just talking in general. Like these motherfuckers out there. Mm-hmm. It's usually like, 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 like drunk, but like, I don't think he was drunk. He asked you for help? Nah. Okay. I, I really just wanted, I wanted to say something to him, but like I said, I kept going, went back there. I ended up with her, um, seeing how she was doing, listening to music. Um, I had music with him on. 
from the city and and we was outside waiting. So then What does that leave you wait on you when you go? He don't he, he doesn't long? yeah, he doesn't plan on staying long. Why do you go if you don't plan on staying long? He doesn't plan on staying long. Is he coming to get you or is he sitting out there all the time? He likes sitting out there. But why do you go like if you don't go in, like what what would you go He goes in sometimes but he doesn't he's him him personally, he's not a friendly person. Like on the crew like, at all. Like if he doesn't know you so he'd rather just, not go around. So mean? if I be like, come on, brother, take me over here and let me check with him. So he just, drive, with he just drives you around, lets you go in, and he waits in the car. Oh, he's he not, not all the way. Not so because some of the people I do mess with, it, it's too many people in when we go. Okay. So he doesn't like. He's like an antisocial person. Exactly. If he knows a person, we'll go in. We'll chill. But it, you don't know. You'll never know what you walk into places like that. Day. At the house. <clears throat> So, but I wasn't really thinking about really when I left the first time. I really wasn't thinking like anything. How long were you there specific. for the first time? I'll say about 10, 15 minutes. Who you talking? Just Neil and Josh. Mm-hmm. Talk to Josh. Who else was there besides like talking to Josh? I think you want to know what? Dad was there. You know what? Uh, yes, sir. You know what? Neil, Josh, the guy. Anyway else? Uh, Jacob was running around. Why was he running around? It was running around. Was, what was like, running around? Gave, mean? She gave me. It's a little hard. How gave, you running around? She gave me his head cut off. Okay. The pants. Don't know. Basically, don't know what to do. I don't know. Like, like I said, he ducks. Like trying to move around. Like, you was know, it's so small. Huh? Was he high? I believe so. On what? What's he do? Uh, smoke some weed. Uh, I think he, I think, I don't, I don't know if he messes around work or not. Yeah. I don't know if he does. Mm-hmm. But. So you go in there talk to Neva? Those two dudes are there? Yeah. And you wait kind of, uh, I think the pops was there. Who? I want to say I seen her dad, but I don't know if. You know her dad's name? No, I don't know his name. So he may I be mean, there. Yeah. Uh, What's everyone doing besides Jacob? You get another girl. girl. There's another girl. I don't know her either. I don't know. I'll give her mid, mid, mid age. Tall, short? By mid height. I said mid height. Mid, mid height for her? Six. Yeah. Heavy or skinny? Skin, like real skinny or? Uh, I will not say real skinny. But she's, she's, she's not like teeth. Bones. Yeah. But she's just a petite girl. Mm. Any tattoos on you? I really didn't pay attention. You didn't get her name? Nothing. Who, who does she know? Pretty sure she knows Neva. Okay. She was talking to Neva. It seemed like I walked into a situation that, like, I shouldn't have done that. So it was uncomfortable. Yeah. Obviously, because the guy's right there, right? Mm. Okay. So you're there 10, 15 minutes, you burn out. Mm. Not thinking anything about it. Not thinking too much about it, yeah. Okay. Then what? We did go back to uh, my brother's house and chill for a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, he might have hit a few, made a few moves, like go see his kids, like that. Mm-hmm. Do some errands, if you will. Yeah. And then. Do some friends. Later on that day, um, I went back over there to like make sure everything was cool. Like I said, I didn't think too much of it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and also, yeah, Neva needs to be. We took you there for the drive. LB. LB pump Yeah. Okay. We're, we're over there by that way. Yeah, we mm-hmm. just stop. We can like stop. Yeah. So we're going in. The dude, uh, like I said, the first thing basically you see is the guy. Because he was talking trash, now what's he doing? He's laying down, chilling. Mm-hmm. Just when he's like more delirious? Like it's just off? I don't know. Just throw it off? He's moving, but he's not. Same words. He, 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 yeah, he wasn't saying complete words, like. Just gibberish. Yeah. So now I'm worried, kind of like, okay, so what the fuck is really this going on? This guy's not doing this good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's still blood everywhere. 
more than it was earlier. Now I want to kind of know what's up. Again, like, are y'all going to just leave him here? Yeah. Like, so, we definitely, yeah, like they, their face is definitely. Because mm-hmm. I came like the third time when I had went in. How long were you there the second time? Jacob and Josh were there the second time. They are, they took off. Who was there then? LB had went to the uh, United Street. Okay. So he left you for a bit longer? Yeah, this time. Okay. So when you were there, that guy's there, who else? The dad's gone. Dad's, dad's gone. gone. Is Neva still there? Neva's there. Yeah, he's there now. Is that girl still there? I didn't see her. Uh, she could have been there, but I didn't see her. Did you see her on the road? No. And so, since so the dudes are gone, did you talk to Neva about what happened? I'm, I'm basically asking her, like, why is the dude still here? That and where the fuck is the guy? Yeah, I like, have I can't, that's not cool, that's not what's up. By that point, did you know what had happened? Yeah, at that point. Uh, the first time you found out what happened? That, at that time right there, I, I know that he, if he's, he's looking for a seat, they're beating this dude, they were beating his ass up. Mm-hmm. They had to. And Jacob had got into his feelings, that's what, my point of view, and shot the guy. Mm-hmm. After he felt like he had the obligation to, after he found out the certain situation, and he had disrespected him. Mm-hmm. He said earlier that day they were all together, and Jacob had came back and he was pissed. He was just. Ran to the house, like I said the first time. So just in a bad mood, like pissed off. Yeah, or what? like he had got on his nerves. Yeah. And shit. Did you By see? Did I'm, you see a gun the first time we went? Any any sort of a weapon or anything? Uh, the first time I came. Yeah. No. You saw the dude bloody up. Yeah. Okay. Second time. Did she tell? Did Neva tell you the first time what happened? Or you she'll just figure yeah, it she out always, she always she she she'll like go and she'll be like this, this guy yeah she she'll let me know what's up but people it's not like you don't want to set Jacob up again yeah exactly she like oh, my boy's getting on his nerves and I almost got into it or whatever I was like okay cool mm-hmm. <laughs> is it, are you alright she's like yeah, I'm good and then second time it's like. I didn't want to be there after she, after I realized that they're still on top of just shooting the guy. Mm-hmm. Still doing this to him. Still doing what to him? They're, they're beating his ass, I believe. They, what are they doing when like, he walked in? He's, he's, he's looking worse, you know what I'm saying? But he's still, he's still. Is he looking worse as he's got new injuries? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Put two and two together. I know you said it was, I don't want to say traumatic, traumatic or anything, but it, it's affected you seeing it, yeah? yeah? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever see him get hit? Uh, no, I did not. I didn't see him get hit. Um, did you see him moving around a lot? Moving around. Moving around, like moving and moving. His, like, yeah, he was, he, 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 he was like all over the place. Which one? Jacob uh, or the guy? The guy. He was all over the place. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know it's he, bad. He's not making no complete sentences. He's not really talking to anybody. He's talking to the third person. Mm-hmm. But he's everywhere around the house. He's the second time cool. He's moving. Yeah, he's everywhere around the house. Mm-hmm. Like blood everywhere. And I, I really don't want you here anywhere. But you really just can't. Because then if she was just left, comes back to her. You, exactly. It's so, your house. Your problem done. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even brought it to my house. I just think she has family and shit. Yeah. She got kids. But when I, the impression I got was that since y'all are still beating his ass, the guys, then why, why are y'all gone? And mm-hmm. why are y'all coming back? You just left her with the children. Yeah, exactly. So I had to leave because my brother came back from Mark and Horn. And he left. And he was, he was worried for a minute. You know, still trying to make sure she's okay. Mm-hmm. Man, I got there late, 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 late. Probably, I'll say, well, not that late. Probably like, my guess, don't quote me on it, it'll probably be 11, 30, 12. I don't know. I walked in, I came back over there to check on him again because hopefully that y'all did something. He's not there. You know what I'm saying? Him. Exactly. I'm not doing nothing. But you, you're worried about this. Yeah. 
It's on my mind. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you got your friend at her house, and yeah, and this dude's you're stressed out that this dude's here getting worse. What are we gonna do with him? What, what's the deal? Mm-hmm. We don't need this guy to get worse than he already is. Mm-hmm. So when I came the next time, it was a whole group, new group of people. Who was there then? Because there was less people the first time, right? The second mm-hmm. time? And the then front. you got more people? Yeah. Who was there now? It was cool people I didn't know. It was the white guy specifically that you were talking that about. That you didn't know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the freaking, I think it's Aniva's friend. The girl. same girl? Same girl from earlier? No. Yeah. This is a different girl. Yeah. And um, I don't know her. But we have no reason to talk. She looked the same or different than the other girl? Maybe different. Uh, two different females. No, like size wise. Oh, um, about the same. About the same. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to talk to Neva and he's talking to her, I guess. Everybody's having their own little conversation. But this guy is still here. So, Neva, what are you really going to do? Mm hmm. Because you're going to end up being on some big shit, you know. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, you need to discuss some help or some shit. Yeah, I mean. And we still outside. So, homeboy just walks up to me like he owes me or something. Mm-hmm. And it's automatically turned off. Can you find me some work? And I was like, okay. Hold on. Let me finish all I need, and see what's up. Mm-hmm. So, I go to the bag. I don't know what they got going on in the front but I'm ready to shake and we come right back because it'll be it's yeah, you don't want to wait on yeah so I, I go out and they're still in the living room I tell them I'm finna come back I go outside but me and I just chill out there mm-hmm. I don't go nowhere LB's still there? yeah LB's still there right now? no LB's waiting on me okay uh, he uh he came back outside and he was like, well, can you do that for me? I was like, hold on, let me just call somebody. Mm-hmm. And he never asked how much he had or nothing like that. I wasn't gonna do it, because I don't know. Yeah, he, he looked like he didn't affiliate with, you know, mm-hmm. affiliate with the other girl, so. With the other girl that yeah. was there or other girls? Uh, the uh, uh, neighbor's friend. That was there, yeah. the third one there, okay. And I let everybody else in the house, I left them all because the carpet's still there. It's still blood everywhere. I don't want to be in there. Like, it, by this time I pulled up, he, he, he should be in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And he should have made that, that decision right then and there. When Jacob comes back out, Jacob, they, they didn't, they, when they left, they didn't come back. Mm-hmm. So you call some dude looking for work? Mm-hmm. It didn't work. <coughs> and uh, LB, my brother, uh, said he could find some. Mm-hmm. So we were supposed to uh, link back up, but uh, LB, he's already sketching. He don't know the guy, so. He don't want that somewhere. Yeah. This is no deal. Mm-hmm. What happens for them? We did we leave. You left with LB? Yeah. And everybody started, uh, as we were leaving, everybody's like, I don't see Geneva now, but I see uh, the girl, him, and some more people in the garage. Mm-hmm. They're just chilling. But I don't know what they're doing, they're just chilling. We bounced, we bounced out. Did. Uh, Jacob's still there? Whatever place he had to do. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really know, know much more after that. Oh, have any, nothing after that? Uh, after you a while, go? Um, so it's good. Go back to LB's? Yeah. What'd you do the rest of the night? Yeah, I got back out one more time. Probably mm-hmm. like five. You know, we just drive around. We make this place. He wants to meet. And um, I think he had called me. I went through there. Or Facebook? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And fucking, it was a lot of shit. Oh, like, 
Call this issue. You going back over there? Yeah. That's a good day out there. It was two days ago, right? You went back there Sunday? Hmm. What time did you get over there Sunday? I oh, don't know. In the morning? Early. Early, early, early light? Like, no generator. There was no power. Like, three o'clock in the morning, early? Yeah, it's not early. Anybody else there? Uh, this is Mexican dude. I swear to God, I've never seen him in my life. <laughs> Uh, it's always like that though but it was just it was just me well not me it was just her you know and I think somebody else I don't know but I've seen that shit I had to go I didn't wanna that's like you seen her yeah when you see when you saw what oh like fucking they fucking concrete what well, used to be there Carpet. Why do you think it's missing? Uh, people try to, uh, thinking, I guess you wanted to clear the evidence. That's the only reason. That's what was the evidence on it? Hmm? What was the evidence on it? There was blood all over the carpet. All that blood? I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so when you yeah. saw that, what did you do? Ask what the hell happened. What did they say? What does it look like? <laughs> That's what they said to me. I really didn't want to finish. What happened after that? I'm gone. With? Give me a Where'd you go? With. Where did you go? Back to where I came from. Back to LB's? Yeah. So we talked to LB's and say the same thing. That's your child. So why, why are two different people that don't really know each other telling us a different story than what you're telling us? What you're telling us links up with a lot of what they told us, That's what I'm saying. but it doesn't I'm match being, completely. Does that make sense? I'm like being, your times even. Like what? Like the times that you tell me? That's what I'm saying. Match up. Match up? But the actions don't. Okay. Why are they telling us that you were taking more of an active role? But you're all hands off. Hands off. Yeah, you don't do anything. That's what they're saying. So you're it. saying. Oh, I made it clear. That's what I'm saying. But if you're so worried about it and it's bothering you so much, you come back two different times, you ain't gonna do nothing? Mm. That don't make any sense, Mitch. What do you mean? So the first time, you start thinking about it, right? That's why you come back the second time. Mm -hmm. And then he's deteriorating, right? He's not feeling as good. Yeah, he's but that's not what I'm thinking about. And you can make the third time, it's such a big deal mm -hmm. that you don't even want to be there. And you come back again yeah, for the fourth time. You know why? You know what but I mean? The third, like, third time right here is, it's people there that, in this type of situation, why is it brand new faces around? Too many people are around when this type of situation is going on. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to tell, now, now I have to tell me something like, what the fuck? Like, you, I know this ain't your fault, but you can't have this shit going on. But you wrapped up all in this, man. Exactly. It's, it's not only, It's not that they're just making stuff up on The page. only wrong it's impression. It's not. The only wrong impression I got is Miwa thought I was leaving with a white guy when we all had left. She never stayed at the door. She's in the house making, doing her thing. There's too much going on. That's what I'm saying. What is she doing? Cleaning. Cleaning what? The house, sweeping, uh, wiping off counters, yeah, for you, smoking. So she doing that. We're all leaving at the same time. I don't know why she's thinking I'm going to leave with this guy when she knows I don't know him. You know. Do you know why? Why? Because you will be in work. Yeah. That's what she probably was thinking. Cause the conversation was all out there. He was a very outspoken guy. It, he was loud, can you use the word? Okay, maybe. Oh, you know, the white guy? Yeah. Yeah. He asked me if I can use the word. Yeah. And then he gave me a beginning with it, so. Mm hmm mm hmm Cause why would that guy come in and just do that for them? Get rid of the dude. That's what I'm saying. You ever met him? Even over the house? Mm -hmm. Anyone act like he knew they knew him? 
the uh, uh, longer. Group. Yeah. Anyone else? No. So why would you do that? Why would I do what? No. Why would he do that? I don't know. What you know what I mean? Yeah. I never thought about it that far because so you tell me like simple shit to think about. But that you roll into another house and you see a dude that's beat up. Are exactly. You gonna, are you gonna take his body and go throw it? Hell no. <laughs> Alive or dead? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So why is he no. doing it? Mm -hmm. What if he was so fiended? He didn't he like get work. He like the work. He's like around it. He's doing that for you so he'll get the work. Sure. Me. Mm -hmm. And you want it done because you don't want a girl stuck. That sounds weird really good too. Makes sense. Mm. That sounds good. Is that accurate? But only if I knew the man. Maybe that would have been a story of like. Well, you get something out of it, you get something out of it, right? Mm -hmm. You get, I'll get nothing out of it, but maybe well, you get a try. Not you individually, but you get something out of it by helping out. Mm -hmm. Neva, right? Yeah, you see that? Is that out of the realm of possibilities? Huh? Is that out of the realm of possibilities? No, I'm just saying that that's a good theory. Is it accurate? Mm hmm. They're probably accurate on she. He did it for her. She, she did. Know she Neva. found it. No, because he went. He's why why would she do it for Neva if Neva don't even know this man? So who you do it for? Me? Because I can get some work. Mm -hmm. You and I both know when people fart fiending for that stuff, what mm -hmm. happens? They do the damnedest things, don't they? Yeah, but it's, it's a whole different level. <laughs> people rob places for that. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. People break into stuff. People do the dumbest stuff so they can get their, their high, right? Mm -hmm. You've seen it. I know you have. If you mm -hmm. hang any time around the villa, you've hung around her house. Mm -hmm. You have seen that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Right. So if I know that you can get me work because you've done it before for people, or you're known for that, mm -hmm. let's say. Yeah. Sounds like a good story. Pretty possible, huh? He seemed like that kind of guy. What? Uh, you seen him? Who? The guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I met him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know why that story seems so plausible? So accurate? Mm -hmm. I won't say so accurate, but so plausible, yeah. That's the story that he gave. Yeah. Wow. So, what is this? Book? Most people, when they come in here, give stories that I can poke holes in it all day. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because people suck at lying, right? Yeah, you got to lie. Because you start, it's easier to tell the truth and follow the truth than mm -hmm. it is for to make up lies. Then you start hitting roadblocks, right? Like, mm -hmm. I can disprove that. This doesn't make any sense. I can't. I can't go through this pathway based yeah. on what you're telling me, right? Yeah. But if everything lines up, Seems a lot more plausible. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I know, but it can all line up into a way you would think it lined up. Okay, saying like, there's always gonna be a little. But you think people- Here and there. You think a dope fiend is gonna be able to make a good enough story for me to believe it? Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not saying someone on the street to believe it. You know what I do for a living. Oh, okay, 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 cool. I understand that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about some like little tiny story. Not, <laughs> not a little white lie, right? Yeah. I'm talking about someone getting beaten up and someone getting dumped. Yeah. That's a lot going on, right? Yeah, yeah. That's not something simple like, mm -hmm. no, I didn't steal your car or whatever else. All right. Cool. I was over here doing this, right? Well, I, uh, I had to answer a lot of questions. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I could, what, what, role, what role do you think I could have played in any of this? We've laid it out. Hmm? We've laid it out for you. No. Like, let's be more specific. Uh, maybe you did do this, maybe you didn't do that. Like, uh, hypothetically? Yeah. What kind of hypotheticals? Um, 
Off his, off his sins judgment. Do what? Off his sins of judgment. Off the, uh, off of uh, what well, you're you, capable of? No, not capable of. Of what? What I actually, think what do you do. think actually had on my behalf? On what everybody's saying? I think that you care about, and this, a lot of this comes from your mouth. Mm-hmm. That you care about Geneva. She's not your best friend or anything, but you care about her. She's probably done something for you in the past. Okay. You know what I mean? Taking mm-hmm. care of you some way or some other. Done something for you. Mm-hmm. And that you don't want her getting stuck with him at the house and something bad happening. Mm-hmm. Him dying or whatever else. Mm-hmm. So you want to help her out without doing too much. Does that make sense? Okay, so. And then you see this guy. Her. Did I have who came I over had? that you don't care about, right? You don't care about this dude that wants. Is that why no? Yeah. You could he get lost and you wouldn't care, right? Never think about it is But if you can get him to do something if for I, you I, for her. Why couldn't uh L B do that for me earlier? Do what? Get you the dope? Uh get you the work? No. If uh that was in my mindset to get rid of the body, why couldn't L B help me out all the time let him pull it up? Because I don't think that you want to get super involved. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I never would have thought about it like that. You want LB's your boy, right? Yeah. You want to be like, LB, come grab this dude with me, bro. Whenever you and I both know that, based on what you're saying, LB ain't going to go in that house. Yeah, he wasn't going to go up in the house. You had before, it wasn't that. He don't know, like, hey, there's too many people. That's why But you got to go, you and I both know that people lie on the streets but you gotta go with him to make sure because he doesn't want to do that and then you 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 disappear and don't help him out right okay well because it's you scratch he scratches your back you scratch his back right mm-hmm. does that make sense yeah it's a good analogy yeah so he goes to visit that you roll with him then you guys go and get the work mm-hmm. you roll back and you think it's your hands are washed over mm-hmm. no one's oh. the wiser Mm. Does that make sense? If that was my bro, he would have probably. Who's your bro? LB. He would have probably done that off the muscle. Like, yeah, bro, I got you. But why involve him when you can get it easier without you doing? Does that make sense? Exactly. That's why I mean. Why involve somebody that you care about? Your brother, right? Okay, drop In something that off. he don't need to be involved with. All so right, you tell him, hey, that. burn off, I'll come get you later. Huh? So you tell, you tell LB, hey, go go back to United or wherever, you know what I mean? I'll go back to the house, the I'll get you up later. What you mean, like, I'll have the car though? No. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. He burns off. Because this dude's got a truck, right? Yeah. Pretty easy to put a dude in the truck. Hmm. That's the only kind of... And... Place y'all would put me, basically. Y'all saying I didn't touch the man at all. I didn't beat. I didn't, I didn't shoot. I didn't I'm shoot. not worried about you beating me. Yeah. Y'all yeah, think you I don't seem like a bottom person. Yeah. Mm. I just, just from my understanding, this dude's alive. Obviously, he's deteriorating, and you think he needs to get the help, and you don't want her getting stuck with him. That's why I would come back the fourth time. Because something's got to happen to him before something happens. Does that make sense? But the fourth time, I can't. Where is he at? He's gone by that point, right? Yeah, car, I, and all I, 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 a lot is gone. But you're not worried about that. Mm-hmm. Because no. that can all be done. But that, that, that's even a stupid play, even, I mean, uh, guidance. Why would you try to even cover up some shit like that? Okay, you say somebody comes in your house and get a carpet gone. Obvious. Just because something's missing doesn't mean you can prove what was there before. Exactly. Does that make sense? Exactly. What's better? You walk in and seeing blood all over the place, or me walk in and seeing no carpet. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which one? If you walked in, you'd be like, "Well, something bad happened here," or would you come and be like, "Are you putting a new carpet?" It's just a slight difference being in your position. But 
or someone's physical. Versus like, what I see versus what another per- person sees, right? Mm-hmm. Cause you can go get a new car paid for it. Throw that down. Mm-hmm. All about it, right? Yeah. That can be done. But you can't walk in and see a guy that died there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a little more obvious. Yeah. And blood's obvious, right? So you get rid of the obvious stuff. Mm-hmm. And hopefully this guy gets help before he ends up dying, right? Yeah. So he gets dropped off in a place where maybe he'll be found before something happens if he keeps deteriorating. But it's not a place where it's like, you don't want to drop him in front of the police department, right? Because yeah. that probably has cameras and the cops are there, right? <laughs> you don't want to drop people off at the, at the hospital because there's probably cameras there. And it's, it may be hard to get out of. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. But what's where... Uh, People go, you may be found, and gets us out. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. I see it. Very makes sense. That's what it does do. <coughs> you know why it makes sense? Because that would be the most logical. Conclusion, right? Yeah. You just go all common sense and think that. Mm-hmm. You're correct. And that's the story we got from two different people that don't really know each other. Because that's what happened. No, but they have to run things by themselves. They have to, they have to run things by each because other. Because why would a guy do that? Unless he's getting something out of it. You're not gonna do something for somebody if you ain't getting jack out of it, right? That's not how it works on the streets. I don't just exactly. do you favors to do you favors. Exactly. Some people do, but how rare is that? How so, rare is Neva? All right, listen to this part. <clears throat> Neva wasn't the one that called him, right? It was the other girl, her friend. Mm-hmm. But her friend doesn't know me. Mm-hmm. So her friend gets on the phone with him. Okay, let's say she asked him for a ride. Mm-hmm. Can I need a ride? Um, this guy over here that I don't know maybe can get you some dough because that's what you're looking for right you know are you like, known for that though no I'm just saying like, no are you known to be able to to give people work mm-hmm. I making know, connections I know. let's say you're just making connections yeah. right you know this guy you know this guy I'm just I'm, the point I'm you're bringing to... those people together you're a facilitator mm-hmm. yeah exactly but <clears throat> the point I'm trying to get at is where why would she make it as a uh, uh, a move like that off the top of her head, putting me in the mix. Maybe you saw you. Okay, trying to get the. Maybe he's just trying to get something from a girl, and he I'll sees you and be like, "Hey, I know that fool." Not because he really, really knows you, but he knows of you because he's seen you or heard of you, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, "Hey, I need some work. Mm-hmm. This man can help me with some work." Or maybe someone else facilitated that and said, "Hey, we need you some work if." You help him. You help yourself. Mm. Yeah. Hey, that's that sounds good. But he goes over there not thinking about the work on his mind. And she was. Just a bunch. Yeah. Maybe the other girl wanted something, so he wanted to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> if I can give me some and give me some work, that's a bonus, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. That's not impossible logic right there. I can't tell you why everyone does everything. Everyone's got different motives, what they want to do, what they want to accomplish, mm. stuff like that, right? Some people are about money, some people are about loyalty, some people are about helping people. Mm. Some people are about a little bit of everything. But everyone's got reasons why they do stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Is every reason wrong? No. Mm. Cause deep down you do things I mean, just like, you knew we were outside today, right? Yeah, you, you heard, matter of fact, how long were we all out there? Like three hours. Hang on. Yeah. SWAT wasn't out there for three hours. But when they started calling you over there, it was probably about an hour and a half. I swear. Why didn't you come out the first time? I you swear. know what I mean? No, nah, I know. Because you're that. making decisions in your head of what's going to benefit me the best. I swear, the first 45 minutes. I okay. Heard. Okay, even if it's 15 minutes, why aren't you like, oh, the cops are here, they ain't leaving. Why don't you just come out? 
That's what I told her. She didn't want me to go out. You know what I mean? Leaving. We not leaving. Yeah, I already know. We're not leaving. I already know. That's what I had to tell her. Come for her. Cause we saw you go in there. Yeah. We're not leaving. <laughs> Cause we know you got a warrant. Mm -hmm. That's why you got called out. Cause we don't want to go in there. Yeah. Does it yeah. make sense? Cause it makes it more dangerous for you, your girl, and especially that little kid. Cause we don't want anything to happen to either of them, either of y'all. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But we do things to keep us safe and you safe. That's why we don't go in there. Mm -hmm. We want you to come out. Cause that's the best way of everything, right? Cause no one's hurt, no damaged property. Everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. That's the ideal situation. Is what happened today in that in that scenario. It took a little longer. Mm -hmm. But why did you come out the first time? Because I had to contemplate what the what the hell was really going on. Right. You know, first. But you've got to wade through that, right? So to answer your question, no, not everything is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, if we would have came in there and you start shooting at us, is that a wrong decision? <laughs> I would say so. Because <laughs> it's not going to end well for anybody, right? Yeah. This is crazy. I just... There's a lot going on. There's no doubt about that. Much. But we don't, we want to know what you know so that we can take that into well, account and, and go on with everyone's stories. Okay, well, because everyone changes little things, right? What 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 else extra can we find out that I can't look out? True. The truth shall set you free, right? Mm -hmm. True. Because if you didn't have anything to do with it, then you don't have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. But you are very wrapped up in this. I know. She didn't even show my face. Do what? Well, trying to have a friend. She didn't even show my face. That many times. Throughout the day. Mm -hmm. But you can't have the heart. I know. Sometimes we don't make our best decisions whenever it's led by that. But you do it because you care. It makes sense. Hey, yeah, but you feel chopped up. But, uh, when it, after old boy had did that, and then basically everybody in jury. Yeah, it's not, not caring or thinking. There, thing. There's no doubt what Jacob did put everyone else in a bad position. Mm. I didn't want that. I don't care what he did. Unless he messing with some of his family members' life, something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that was, I, don't, I don't wish that on nobody. I'm not that hard. I don't think you were. I think the reason you did what you did was because you have a heart. That makes sense. Because mm -hmm. you're trying to fix, not cause chaos. Here we are. Everything happens for I believe that completely. It's not a doubt in my mind. From the stuff that I've seen in my life working this job, everything happens for us. And the truth will always come out. Mm -hmm. I can't make up the events that happen. No one can. Yeah. It's crazy when you gotta go through some shit like that. We got uh, two new ones. Yeah. No, you weren't supposed to be in that situation. I mean, your friend. We can't take Everything back. does happen for a reason. It does. Maybe I was meant to be there. We can't Maybe take back what happened. We can only move forward. Uh -huh. It's good. Things are right. But what I am really confused about mm -hmm. is this damn more. <laughs> what the hell is that? We, we don't have any information about what that's for, to be honest. But all we have is a piece of paper, well, it's on the computer, but it's a piece of paper that says this form with your name on it. Mm. Since August. That's what it says. Also says sex trafficking of a child. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my, that's, 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 I'm on Is my, that an old thing? Yeah, I'm on my for that. 
was eligible did you, for state Did you not show up or something like that? Was there any reason they revoked your bond? I guess it's not like that. Bond, maybe. It's revoked. I'm no, I'm asking if that's uh, why. They may do it because of a, a new violation or something like that. I don't, I don't know. That's just a guess, man. I never, uh, I just had a report like three days ago, three or four days ago. Mm, they didn't say anything. I said, it's three or four days ago. Sharon's. Oh, your bail bonds? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's since you're paying them? Yeah. Maybe since you're paying them, they don't want you to report. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're maybe. money making business, but they're not. If you're giving them money, then maybe they're. How many times did you touch Gabriel lately? Touch him? Mm. It was good. Where did you touch his name? Oh, I don't touch him. Not that day. The day before, maybe when he was good, shook his hand. I was bad. bad After he was yeah. hurt, how many times did you touch him? No. Touch his pant legs? Eggs. Like you were lifting him out of the truck. No. Okay. You said you've never been in the guys in the white guy's truck. No. Never been. In so your DNA. Any your DNA pops up in the truck. Do you have zero um, explanation for? I don't, I don't know that guy. Excuse me. Well, I want to ask you, um, I'll take a sample of your DNA. Are you okay with that? I'm just going to use this little thing, swab the inside of your cheek, so that as we much. test all this stuff, and test to, as we're testing all the evidence that we have, um, I want to make sure that... Okay. Just see if what you're telling us is accurate. That makes sense. <laughs> because what's going to happen is if your DNA shows up there, and you said it's not supposed to be there, everything you said, you're only part of the liar. And the only people that lie are people that do bad things that lie. Yeah. Okay. So you, are you okay with us taking a sample of your DNA? I'm not worried about it. Are you, you consent to us doing that? You okay with it? No. Right. Do you have anything in your mouth? Any gum or anything like that? Are you going to open your mouth wide? I'm just going to swab this. I'm going to use this little foam thing on the inside of your cheek. Okay. No. 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 So it's all right. As long as you're, do you consent for us to do that? Are you okay with it? Yeah, that's all I was, I was going to say something about it. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm not worried. You come on. You can do it. All right. I already told you that if there's an explanation, if there's any, you gotta get the left side. There's, if there's any explanation for why you would have been in that truck or why you would have been there helping him take Gabriel to the carriage house, I believe you would have already told us. Mm-hmm. Anything that we find out, the only thing I'm gonna be able to believe, and the only thing left to believe is that, you know, that you weren't doing it for any reason. That you would have an explanation for. And we're good. Just trying to get this out of the way. <clears throat> Do you see how that's important? That's how she's using her. Air what? Air Forces. Not if I take a look at the Where have you been staying? Okay. Where have you been staying? Where are you been staying there? At my house, um, that's just like it. Or sometimes we have a Grandpa Grandpa says you haven't seen you haven't seen the week for a while. Yeah. Sometimes we have a week. But true? Yeah. That's your other one? <sighs> These are the shoes that you had on my side? Yeah, um, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Really, like, mm, three, but I lost two because uh, I know females basically should cut them up. Honestly, I don't care. Cut your shoes up? 
Enfin, ils, ont ils, ont ont ils ont dû aller en salle. Yeah, I'd say, um, um, yeah. Let me ask you this question too. Dude, they got the other two over there. Yeah. Let me ask you this question too. The dope? And they got them 380. Let me ask you this. Um, my understanding is your blood, right? Blood. Are you blood? That's, yeah, what, blood. that's what they said, yeah. Ooh. There's one of the other investigators out there, I guess it's no. not fair. You're not? No. You ever been associated with the blood? No. Yeah. Like, never been, never been in a gang fight. Have you ever been in a gang? Are you in a gang? No. The gun that was found in the in Destiny's house, mm -hmm. is that your gun? The 380? No, it's not my gun. Did you take it to your house? Do you ever carry it? I tested it before. <clears throat> Who's got it? Uh, it came from Corey. I got in Corey. Corey? Peppers. Okay. When did it come from the guy in Corey? From Corey to you or from Corey to Destiny? Corey to our brother to the Destiny. I mean, Corey to our brother to a friend to me. Like, it wasn't like. Okay. So it came from Corey. The reason the gun's at the house today is because you took it to the house? Is that fair? Is that true? No. Who took it to the house? I don't know. You said it was your part. cousin or brother, whatever, to you. No, the person that originally came from, okay. that's what you're telling me, it's cool. Who took it to Destiny's house? I don't, I don't know. How did he get there? How do you know where it came from, but you don't know how I got there? Like, because the thing with you, you know what I mean? Like, you don't just I tell know it was like, there. Corey had it, and I, I know, know it was there. Mr. Lights. But I didn't bring it there. Mr. Lights. So my brother really could have brought it. Mr. Lots, the thing with you is that you lie about everything. Mm. And you're used to people believing you. Mm. Yes. No. You're lying. Okay. You don't tell the truth. And you're used no. to everyone believing you. And maybe in the past that's got you out of trouble. Maybe maybe some gullible people, some weak minded people. What would this have to do with the case? I'm just telling you about you. You oh, lie. Okay. You lie and so, people believe you. So I'm hearing this from anyone else so you can tell me about myself. Yeah. Or do you think so no, I know that you're a liar. You lie yeah. about things. Everybody would say something like that. <clears throat> What's that? Yeah, I believe everybody lies before they lie. People do lie. Everybody lies. Just everybody lies. lies. Just me too, lies. Everybody lies, but not everybody lives by lies. No, I don't do that. Because even on a question with a gun, you're like, I ask you, where did the gun come from? You're like, you're like, look over here. But look over here. What's wrong with question if I say I didn't know? You're manipulating. But I'm going to try to keep manipulating. You it came from. Your How did it get to Destiny's house? And I do not know that. Yes, you do. No. How can you know where it came from? Okay. Should Destiny be charged well, with me? It? Me and my uh, charge with the house. What's wrong with it? Should she be charged with that and the dope that's in her house? Are they both hers? Uh, yeah, I, don't, I guess so. You guess so? Yeah. So because they're both hers and she should be charged with both. Because if, if that's in the case on anything, you got that probable uh, cause for all of them right there. So that's house. nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? So the house you're staying at? Well, I'm not staying there. You sell dope. No. Yeah, you already said that you sell dope. I never said that. You did say that. You said it. He asked you earlier. You're facilitating. Mm -hmm. Okay. The guy shows up the other night. You're known to some dope. be. He brokered it. I can mm -hmm. find you some dope. I said I might be able to. You so might be able to. Yeah. yeah, because you might be able to. I might you're be known able to, to deal with drugs. You're known to deal with drugs, is what he's trying to tell but everything, okay. everything about what you do is you lie about this, you give some misdirection, misinformation. But the thing is, none of that helps in the end. Mm -hmm. Because when the truth comes out, you look like a liar. And the only people that lie are people that have things to hide. Mm -hmm. But what was I accused of? I, I didn't even accuse you. No, you no, lie about things what, you're not even accused for of. For me to be here, what am I accused of? You lie about things you're not even accused of. So, what, the implication what? is that you were at Geneva's house. Are you dating Geneva? No. You know, is that your girlfriend? No. Why she thought you were boyfriend? Maybe. I don't know. She can do what she wanted to do. She can put a title on me. Either way. Either way. But I didn't want that. The reason we're talking to you, the reason we want to talk to you, though, is because you are at. Geneva's house mm -hmm. the day that Gabriel is beat up there. Okay. But you want to say, oh, I was there, but I'll leave, I'll come back, I'll leave, I'll see him, I'll leave. But I, you want to talk about everything except for what's real. Okay. That you know you can't deny being there. There's too many people saw you there. 
but never deny me in there. I know you did, because you know you can't. I think that if you truly believed you you could get away with saying that, you would. You would lie. Why would I do that? Because that would be putting me in more jeopardy. She's, she's her own person. Exactly. She makes her own decisions. But I'm that person that cared. If you cared, I think that's debatable. Mm-hmm. I think you care to the point where you're not willing to to put yourself in any kind of a situation that might put yourself in jeopardy. Because the reason yeah. why I probably sound like that is because you are like that. I made it clear. You don't make anything clear. Like you don't make anything clear. Because we've been talking be for these. we've been talking for two and a half hours, and you don't make anything clear. Nothing about you is clear. You say, "Look over here." I'm saying this. I'm saying that. Nothing is clear about you. You don't ever make anything clear. Okay. I'm telling you what's clear is that Geneva, your friend, whose house you were at, which listen to your own words. I go over there, OB brings me, but he doesn't go in. I stop in for a minute, I leave. I come several times throughout the day. I come three times throughout the day. Yeah, you come three times to her house throughout the day while four, waits four in the car. Four times within 24 hours. Four. Four. While OB waits in the car, you slip in for a minute, you leave, OB goes, you come in. What does that sound like to you? Uh, so am I lying about that? No, what's like, that sound like to you? It sounds like somebody who don't want to be in the mix of nothing that's going on at the house. No, it doesn't. Somebody yes, who doesn't does. want to be in the mix of something going on at the house we'll doesn't come back. back. Exactly. You're tiptoeing around what happened. You exactly. tiptoe around not, everything. But, okay. And it doesn't work out at the end because your DNA is going to be on his pants where you touched him. Your DNA is going to be in his truck where you sat. Okay. The door handle. The dash, everything that you and touched. you have no explanation, and so the only thing left for anyone to believe is that you lie about everything, and what they're saying about you must be true, because you won't so even admit to being in We've already been it. What am I being accused of? That's it. Right now, you're being accused of lying about everything, and it makes me wonder what else you've done, because okay. nothing's been offered that you should feel threatened by, mm-hmm. but yet you won't even tell the truth about it. And so here you sit. Okay, Thank so you. can I watch y'all on your life? Go for it. You said you're gonna go outside, but I said give me the water. It took you 30 minutes to come back. You didn't, did you? But I know what you're doing. I'll tell you what I did. Hey, I don't wanna know. I just, can I have some water? I'm not this guy. Yeah, I'll get you some water. <laughs> That's the only thing yeah, I want. Mm-hmm. I'll try to get in touch with the, mm. with the uh, FBI investigator mm. on your case. Thank you, sir. He said he's gonna call me back. Wait, no, he's gonna call me back, and he hasn't called me back to you. Okay. That's one of the things I do. I went out and I got these swabs. Okay? Mm. To take care of that. And then I'm asking them about what happened when they went inside because Dustin let them search the house. Mm. They found drugs and they found guns, which I came out and asked you about. Mm. And I'm waiting on a callback from the FBI. And I do realize, and I realized it when I walked in, that it's. <laughs> I did forget your water. <laughs> I don't realize that. Mm-hmm. All right. But. But. Okay. My you want to ask questions? I mean, you want to ask? Okay, I'll make questions. What I hope that what I hope that we would accomplish by talking to each other is that you would come in and be truthful and provide me some sort of an explanation that makes sense about why you went with this guy to carriage house that night. I hope that you wouldn't tell me that we put him out there because we wanted him to die. I didn't want you. I was hoping that you're not that person. I hope that people like that aren't that very many of them in the city as well. Of course not. I, hope, in the case. I know that there's some yeah. people like that, but I hope there's not enough that, that I'm meeting them today. I hope that you would provide some sort of an explanation as to why we're all in this situation talking about this, mm-hmm. why Geneva's in this situation. Am I the last one left? Hmm? Am I the last one left? You tell me who all was there. Who do I need to go? Who do I need to go talk to? What do I need to find out? Jacob. I don't even know. Jacob's gonna lie like you are. Of course, he's gonna lie. I'm not like me. Cause I don't do that. Yeah. All right. You tell me that. You tell <clears> me that you don't know anything about this FBI case. I swear to God. You don't know nothing about it, and you're like, oh, I was on bond for a federal case. Maybe it's a That's not it. Is that a federal case? Apparently. But it just said weapon, federal, federal weapon charges. So. It says offense, weapons, weapon trafficking, 
And it says, no abuse, narcotics, sex trafficking of a child, aiding and abetting. No abuse. No bond, is what it says. Special agents, you've proven it. Mm-hmm. We have to wait on this. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, until, until he gets back at you. Okay. Okay. So, why now? So, yeah, he's not going to, Jacob is going to lie. I haven't talked to Jacob yet. What about the egg girl? Hmm? What about the egg girl? What about her? You say she doesn't even exist, so why do I even need to talk to her? You lie about her. Obviously, she did, because obviously, neither did that guy. Hmm? Obviously, neither did that But you lie, but you say she doesn't even exist. Egg girl doesn't even exist. She only exists in my group, because I don't even know what it is. You said there was two different girls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe she's the girl that's not Geneva. Huh? So maybe she's the girl that's not Geneva. Maybe that would make sense, because you know who Geneva is. Duh. I think you're a smart guy. That's, uh, what I did say is, I don't know a girl by that name. If I see a picture, maybe I do know her. Was it two girls? Just asking. Name? Two different girls, yeah. Was not, 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 not at the same time. Was one one, one earlier. You, you said two girls. She, she stayed there. Okay, so then there's another girl. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what we're talking about. Maybe. If there was three girls, maybe it would be one of those two. But. I don't know her. It was a different girl earlier that day, the first time I came. And there's another one the third time I came. But so I'm guessing that one was for the white guy who called over. So you're saying what you're like, what have I been accused of? What have I been accused no, of? No, I'm supposed to. Right now, I, you know, I think probably had you if you were truthful, this conversation would have been a thirty minute long conversation where you would say, Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I went with this fool. Yeah, he did what he did, but at least I knew at least you were with him. I know you were with him and you won't even admit to that. You were with him. Yeah, we're talking about two different white boys. No, we're talking about the white boy with the truck that so yeah, the the got truck. Gabriel out of there. Let me see his truck. We're talking about the white boy that got Gabriel and got him out of there. Okay. Do you know DNA works? Ask me. For, um, for Yes. Yeah. Did you go on that guy's truck? That guy's truck? No, I never saw it. I never saw it again. Do oh. you know how DNA works? Yeah. You know, if you touch something, your DNA gets on it. Yeah. So like we can get your DNA all over that bottle. Mm-hmm. Does it make sense? If you try to touch a truck handle, you know, your DNA's on it. And you, you know, it's still, it. And you know it still stays you know, there even though it's somebody else. You go outside and rub up on it. He's on it. Right? Yeah. Long on the it. inside door handle, you open it. It's on it. On the armrest, it's on it. On the dashboard, it's on it. On the seat, it's on it. You think you've ever been anywhere where you didn't lose a hair? Of course. No. <clears throat> if you leave today, there will be, your hair fibers are going to be in that chair. It's going to be around the chair. You're not going to be there. All right. His won't because you don't have any hair. How much? <laughs> I mean, mine will. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's not like we're looking in a football stadium for we're looking inside the front seat of a car, a truck. Mm-hmm. And you're saying, I've never been in there. I know you've been in there. Geneva says you've been in there. He says you've been in there. Video of you and him at Carriage House say you've been there. And so the only thing left was not going to be at the end of the day, oh, I just didn't know what was going on. And I'm, was innocent in this whole thing. I didn't know what I didn't know what was about to play out. It's going to be. I knew exactly what the heck was going on. I knew what we were doing. I knew what he was doing. Shit, maybe he's right, and he asked me, and I'm the one to ask him to do it so that I could get him some work. Do a solid for. Hmm? You need do some work for your friend. You need some work. We need a truck. Is it works out. <laughs> Did you I see? Know. You you like laid out type of thing you laid out this predicament, that Mr. Lights. You laid out this predicament that I see is very real. Geneva's got a guy at her house that Jacob mm. helped create the problem. Mm. If he goes unresponsive at her house, mm. she's got a big problem. The situation gets worse, right? Mm. Why dude shows up with a truck? He's got a truck. We've got a problem. He wants work. We got a problem. You can do something you do all the time. Facilitate. You help right. us, I help you help us, we help you. I tell you, you and had it had somebody found him that night, 
Had somebody called an ambulance? Had he got up and gone to the hotel? None of us are even talking to each other. We don't even meet today. The helicopter doesn't even come out. The SWAT team's not even there. It's unfortunate, or maybe it's on purpose. Maybe it's an unfortunate mistake, and maybe it's something that happened on purpose. One person in this room can tell us that answer. Otherwise, we're left to, otherwise, we are left to assume that it was, because if it wasn't, why the heck wouldn't you say it? Maybe some people got handed a bad set of cards, and they got to fix it. If it was unfortunate, why the heck would you not tell us that? Mm. If it was on purpose, I understand every reason why you would not tell us that. But, but that brings to my question earlier, maybe it would have been a quicker interview. Uh, what's your sense of judgment say? What kind of, what do you think? My sense of judgment says that you're sitting there thinking, if I tell them I was with them, I'm in trouble either way. Mm -hmm. That's my sense of judgment. Your sense of ju my sense of judgment says you're sitting there thinking, I'm in trouble either way. Whether I tell them it was an accident or I tell them it was on purpose, I'm not, I can't help myself here. That's my sense of judgment about you. And my other sense of judgment about you is you're used to talking your way through no, things. No, 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 that's not, that's not the kind of sense of judgment I wanted you to do. It was the, um, on, What's your sense what do you think? How big of a role could I have played? Could have been anything from you were actually there. Or what kind of person you think I am to you? Do you think it was this or this? If I thought you felt bad, if I, if it was this over here, I think you would have told me. Why wouldn't you? Because your first is a judgment. Because you think you're going to get in trouble either way? That's, that's kind of like, but let me I'll ask, talk with anybody. But let know. me ask you this. If you did this, if you were just there, you might get in trouble. I'd be lying to you if I said you would. I'd be lying to you if I said, look, if you don't do this, I have no problem with that. No, because if you did this, you're still part of leaving an injured man there. But if you did this over here, you killed a man on purpose. Exactly. And there's going to be a lot of people that hear this case, that hear these facts, that read my report, that read about our interview, and they're going to make judgments about it. And everything, everything important is going to be based on those judgments. And that's the reason that the law gives these huge areas for interpretation, because sometimes it's this, and sometimes it's this. Sometimes people steal things because they have a family to provide for and they've got the food on the table and they've got to pay electric bills. And sometimes people steal things because they like to see people in fear and they like to hurt people and they like to take their stuff. Both of those things are, are stealing, right? Mm -hmm. But you make judgments. I make judgments. We all, everybody makes judgments. But this person over here, we can all say, we, I would do the same. I would do the same thing to provide for my family, for my loved ones. I don't, know that I, could ever, I don't know that I could ever put myself over here just to cause some more fear no. for no reason at all. It's just so you're right. Me. So you're right. Just because you say it's this doesn't mean there's nothing, there's nothing to answer for. There's always a time for it. But what I've been telling you is that who... If it is this over here, most people would say this person could at least explain the reason I stole was for my family, mm -hmm. was for my kids, for my electric, mm -hmm. for because we all have those same burdens. Mm -hmm. We all we relate to each other on those terms. You have to eat, I have to eat, we all have to eat, we all have to have a shelter over our head. Mm -hmm. We all have to take care of our kids. We all have to take care of our you know, of our loved ones. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's our brothers or sisters or grandparents or whatever. We all have to do that so we all understand that. And so this person, yeah, they both still, maybe they both still the same thing, but this person, I can understand. This person, I cannot. Mm -hmm. The person that walks up to an old lady and smacks her over the head and rips her purse off her on the mall, 
just to cause her fear and terror. Can you understand that person? That's not okay. I I believe all of our sense of honor goes against that. Mm -hmm. I believe yours does too. Exactly. That's what I meant by your sense of judgment. Okay. Your sense of judgment won't name that way. I don't think it'll name that way. You know? And it's not us to judge though. No, I just, I just, by the end of the day, I have to, somebody's going to probably judge this. Somebody is going to judge this. Yes, 100%. So, let me get a regular person who actually been doing this for a minute to get the six suggestions on how he feels about the situation. On, and not just my own in my head, which, you know, won't go this way. To this far side, you think? To the bad, to this evil side? Well, the problem becomes is that if you don't tell us the truth of why something happened or why something didn't happen, is it's hard to judge anyone what their actions were. Does that make sense? Because if you if you cloud it in a bunch of lies, how can you ever distinguish between these two? Does that make sense? Well, let me tell you the, the truth about the person over here. They say things and they do things for their own survival. And when this person is trapped and knows there's no other way out of this, you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, I was this guy. And that's why I did it. I was this guy. But you know what? Mm -hmm. At that point, who's going to believe that? Mm -hmm. You know what this guy's going to say from the beginning? I don't think that makes sense. Think about it. Let's use this scenario. Your DNA. You're telling me never, never even, never in trouble. You know what? I think it's going to show that you will. Mm-hmm. And, and if it shows, just hear me out. And if it shows that, and you come back now with, oh, wait, there's an explanation for it. It's too late, too late. You wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't need it. No one would. Because mm-hmm. you lied, right? Well, we can prove that. It's like if, it's like you got, you got your brother. Do you have any other brother? The LB? Got anybody else? Uh, but it's my aunt. And is LB younger than you or older? He's younger. Say LB took something from you. He's like a couple months younger. Let's say he took something from you. Okay. Take some money out of your wallet. Place your shades. Place something. Say LB, you see my, it's my money. It's my money. I'm not saying you would. I don't know. Okay. I'm just. Mm-hmm. You ask me, you seen this stuff? He's like, wow. I haven't seen it. He knows what he did. Mm. Okay. But he denies he did it. And you go in his car and you lift up the console and your money, your wallet's right there. And you're like, well, what, what is this? And he's like, Does it oh. make him this guy? Well, you judge there. Mm-hmm. But you say, what is this? And he says, oh man, he's like, I needed, I needed to, I needed to turn on, I needed some food, I need some whatever. You might know because if that was true, you would have told me from the beginning. You just asked me for it. You know I would have understood that. Mm-hmm. So was you loan your brother some money? And so at this point you're like, at this point you're like, no, that ain't that ain't true. Now you're just trying to tell me that because you're saying you're this guy now because this is where you you feel like you should be, but that's not you. You know what I mean? Trying to play you the sympathy have, card when you break up. You're not gonna buy that. I'm not either. And neither were the people that listen to this this case. Neither were the people that make judgments in this case. If all it was was you at the wrong place at the wrong time, you would say that now. You wouldn't wait until your DNA is inside the truck and on baby pants. You wouldn't wait that long. Because by then, the time for explaining is coming on. There's no explanation needed at that point. The only explanation is he was afforded an opportunity to explain it and offer me. So there must not be. Mm. And that doesn't go to say that if, if LB took your money and you found out that it was from food or for whatever, there's consequences for that. Maybe a lack of trust. Maybe, you know what I mean? But if you found out he took it and lied to you about it, and didn't offer an explanation, and now the only reason he's explaining himself is because you caught him in it. That, that's a much deeper cut to that trust, into that relationship. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
we can come out of that. Be as easy as it is. It's two different things. It's the same act. But it's, in your own words, judgment is what makes those things different. It's how we perceive it. It's how we think about it. It's how our honor code works. It's how we relate to each other. It's how we live with each other. Mm. But there is no time for explaining after it's already too late. It's come and gone. And that opportunity is no longer there. And at that point it becomes, it must have been for some reason so bad that there was no, that he would didn't want to give that explanation. Mm. Or he would have just said it was a freaking accident. Didn't know what to do. In a bad freaking spot. I'm just trying to help my friends. Every one of us would help our friends. None of us want to see our friends get in trouble. None of us want to see our friends go through hurt. Mm. All of us will have our friends. But that doesn't mean that everything we would do to help our friends is without consequence. But it does mean that most people would understand that. You would understand that. I would. I told you before, if I was in that dude's truck that night, and we were there, even if I didn't like what we were doing, I would rather get out and help him do what he was doing than be sitting there if the cops rolled up or if somebody else rolled up and all of a sudden it looks a lot worse than it was. I think I would rather get out and say, let's get this done, let's get out of here. What the hell are you doing? I've been with friends before when I said, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. That wasn't mm-hmm. my decision. That was their decision. They put me in that decision. They yeah, put people me in that don't decision. agree to that. Put you up. Do what? Yeah, I know. Everyone's people don't agree to that. Oh shit! <clears throat> this wasn't something I chose, but here I am, and now I've got to do something. I, I mean, I, I told you that earlier. That's what I would have done. You never know when you're in. You never know until you're there. Mm -hmm. But there's a difference in this Senate. In that situation, there's a big difference between you and a big difference between that other guy. He went there knowing that was going to happen. You went there and got caught in that situation. And it's either we sit here, we sit here and screw around until somebody comes by. Or we do what we gotta do to get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. And this dude, maybe some, some, maybe somebody comes by and helps us do that, and maybe not. But I didn't choose this. I didn't do this. But here I am. Judgment's everything. And it goes all the way from over here to all the way over here. It's never black and white. And I believe you agree with that. We think through things. More than most people. Smart guy. I think you see things a, a way that a lot of people don't. And I think that you would have helped him do that. Mm. You're a lot smarter yes, than that guy. And I think that if I don't know how many people in Geneva's life would have helped you that Jacob should have helped you. Jacob put her in that situation. And Joshua is going to help his brother. He's going to help her. 
the world and that's not right but it's understandable. You're a very methodical person. I think you would have liked it. You analyze everything. The deal is, if the explanations here, the only time for explaining is now. If the explanation is here, maybe it just doesn't even need explaining because it's gonna, it all comes out of the wash at the end. And then you leave it up to other people's judgment to figure it out. I think this is a lot more about Geneva than it is about Gabriel. Gabriel's a grown man that made, makes his own decisions. He picks his own fights. It's in his own situations. I don't believe Geneva put herself in those situations. By her own choosing. I seriously doubt she wanted that dude at her house on Saturday, all day. I'm sure that if she could have got out of that situation, she would have been one too. I think you would too, I would. What was it? If you were in a situation like Geneva on Saturday where you got mm -hmm. this dude over at your house after Jake and did what he did, I mean, what, mm -hmm. what is she gonna do? I mean, what could she possibly do? You say to yourself, you call an ambulance and you end up with Cops are there poking around asking questions. I mean, you either do that or you wait. <laughs> or you wait, and if he goes unresponsive, and then you've got a huge problem on your hands. Mm -hmm. Someone had to think through this. Exactly. This, or you take him somewhere, someone finds him, fine, whatever. We didn't choose this. We do what we can. This is the best plan we've got. No, I wouldn't think of this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You and I both know that. Didn't you even think of this? Well, she went with some she intelligence like a, thoughts. What's she going to do if she wakes up to new one and he's there and he's not responsive? She going to freak out? Then what do we do? Things are a lot worse now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Do what? I said, mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone that can actually think through the problem and do their best to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But the time for explaining is now. It's not when DNA comes back. And all that DNA is going to do is confirm what Geneva's already told us. Where is this white boy? Do what? Where is this white boy? Where is he? Mm -hmm. He got one. <laughs> You don't get trapped. And all that DNA is going to do is prove that she's not a liar about this. And that she was doing the best she could with the situation she had. Mm -hmm. That's all that DNA is going to prove. And we both know that. Joshua's gonna say, it's not Joshua, but take his book. Joshua. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Who do you think he is going to say to him? He's gonna say his brother. Watch this. He ain't gonna say Jake. Watch this. <laughs> this is what he's gonna say. I don't know what he's talking about. I wasn't there. Everyone tries that at first. You think that's gonna work for him? Do you think the people that hear what everyone has to say about it and make judgments on it are gonna that's not gonna work for him? Mm -hmm. He's gonna say Geneva. He's gonna say he shirt that dude. He's gonna say some crazy white boy showed up and hurt that dude. Mm -hmm. That's what he's gonna say. And that's not gonna work for him. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. If all that happened was you were at the wrong place, you, know, you ended up in a situation, and I say the wrong place at the wrong time, maybe you were at the right place at the right time mm -hmm. to do something to help a friend. And now- Was this ever said? Uh, I haven't, that thing to do with 
they don't want nothing to do with it. So what? I don't think you wanted to do, go in there and do that. That's not how you planned your day, right? Of course, what I'm saying like, because could anybody else out there not have already said? Uh, oh, have they said that? Everyone says stuff like that first. Are you saying it's not towards me? Yeah. Oh, you didn't have any part? No. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy. That's when I kept repeating, because uh, I let it be known, is because of the situation. I let it be known. Mm-hmm. When I walk in, those couple times I did go, that you know I always part say, of it. I kept repeating. But you know what? what but you was, kept making it your deal by showing up. But what was said? What was said? And I think the reason that we're talking right now is because I can't figure out why we can't get past what was said mm-hmm. by Geneva, by your friend, is that you helped her that night by getting him out of her house. That's what was said. Mm-hmm. You look at it how you want to look at it. I believe that in her mind, that's how she sees it. Imagine the bond she would have been in if you weren't there for her. I don't know how tight you are, I don't know how close you are, but imagine the bond that she'd be in if you did not show up for her. Yeah. And she's got to rely now on some <laughs> dude to show up that she's never met. Mm-hmm. But that's not how we How we got to take away time from Everybody, uh, specifically speaking, children. Who are seeds? Have their own seed, children. Children? She has, uh, the reason why I say I'll, uh, that's my friend. <clears throat> She's getting her child, her seed, taken away from her. That's why she would. That's why this happened the way it did. For the simple fact that if the kids were there, which they were about a week before. Mm-hmm. I believe in my heart, Jacob wouldn't have shot that boy in front of them kids or shot that guy in front of them kids. That's just one. Number two, you would have to think, why would I, why would I do this? Mm-hmm. You know. Did you do it in front of kids? No, the kids weren't there. Yeah. Now, fast forward, now that we're in the situation now, the situation happened like this. People are, are getting time taken away from theirs now. Who's getting check? Who are you talking Let's say, let's put me in a situation. Okay. I got one I don't know about. <laughs> It's some bullshit that I didn't want to be about. And you I just was, when, once I pulled up, I pulled up, mm-hmm. you know, right now. And lay down with my bed. That's all I wanted to do. Didn't want to be over there at Geneva spot. Guess it can't be mad because, you know, helping out a friend, but I sure would rather be a thousand of my bed, you know. Sure. Mm-hmm. But they're babies. They're young. And they've got a whole lifetime of blessings to run from their back. About yeah. how to live. How to live right. How to treat people. How to do right to their friends and to their family. Who's going to teach I don't think you're going to teach them. I agree. That's their mom's teaching. And you know what's going to happen is that we all make mistakes. And I hope that my kids learn from my mistakes mm-hmm. because they're going to have enough of their own. And I hope they don't have to go back and relive mine. Because if, if they can do that, they got a chance to be a lot better than me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They got a chance to make more of themselves than me. They had a chance to do all the things that I haven't been able to do. But the only way that they can learn from my mistakes is if I face my mistakes. And I'm gonna make a lot. 
we're all we're, we're both done with a lot. We both probably made a lot. And your kids have a whole lifetime ahead of them to learn from their dad and from their mom. And if it was this, or if it was this, that doesn't change them. The only opportunity to make explanations about this is now. Because all this, all this shows later is that Geneva was telling the truth. She could have lied, but she did. And I'm sure it took a lot of bravery, a lot of courage from her. Because she got put in a bad spot. And I'm sure that if those other guys find knew what she said, I'm sure it took a lot of courage for her to say these things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's just the way the world goes. But we can't let those fear or intimidation of guys like Jacob mm-hmm. keep us from doing this right. That's not on her. That's not. So what does she have to deal with? What's that? What does she have to deal with? She had to deal with the fact that Gabriel was at her place. She's looking at a, you know, the possibility of charges possibly maybe tampering with evidence because of the stuff that got taken out of her house. Mm-hmm. Instead of calling and saying, you know, something happened here, mm-hmm. we need help. We try to cover things up, and every time we try to cover things up, we do a whole lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's all that's the thing about the garden. And it comes right. up, and it comes out. In. Right, but it's like I told you, it's more obvious. And, and it comes out at the end anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Why didn't she just call in? But ultimately, she was brave enough to talk about it. Yep. She was brave enough to tell the truth about what happened, and I believe that she told us the truth about what happened. She knew she mistakes. I told you earlier that this white guy tried to throw all this back at you. Mm-hmm. And I told you earlier too that I'm not willing to just take him at his word. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I don't know you. Mm-hmm. But I'm able to look at explanations and look at the way people say things and look at the evidence that's there and hopefully figure out what really happened. And I hope that other people will be able to figure it out too. But there's just no way for this to go with no explanation. It's all, it's all going to come out in the end, and the time for explaining will be gone. If you told me that you thought that that guy deserved what he got, I would understand. What that guy did was some bad stuff. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want a person like that anywhere near my family. You know, he hurt a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I can understand why people would take offense at that. And I can understand why they wouldn't want him around. And, and if you told me that the reason so I didn't want him around, I can understand that. I could also understand if you told me that I ended up in a situation where I'm trying to help out me, but I don't even, whether this dude was did what he did or didn't, I still would've helped my friend. And we did what we thought was the best thing we could do that night. We put him someplace that we thought he could get help if, if he could, and it just didn't happen. That stuff happens, man. And I think just as much of that falls back on him as it falls back on me. He's a grown man, and he got himself into the situation. And Jacob's a grown man, and he got himself into the situation. And it led everybody else down this road that we're out. And that's not right. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's a judgment thing, sir. It's always a judgment.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
I don't go asking for a ride. But I know she ended up she ended up shooting off the message. Cause he wouldn't ask me for anything when he came and just gave her a ride. So it was she. <coughs> uh, you told him, hold on, I mean we can do that. I went outside, asked LB if he can. He, like I said, he's not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So we sit out there and chill for a minute. They were all in the garage. And moves were already being made. Mm -hmm. By the time he came and asked me, can you do that for me? I mean, can I do it for him? I was like, uh, maybe. I don't know what's up. He take me over there. He did that. He wanted me to go ride with him. Because obviously, I'm the facilitator. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was already, had to be packed and ready for a road trip. I stayed there. Yeah. I stayed sitting there, quiet. Mm. He pulled it where it was necessary for himself. And this is the judgment is what you've got. And you're not just gonna sit there. Talk about what out there to carriage? Mm -hmm. yeah. What happened? Uh, uh, go back to the first question you asked. Where was my heart at? Uh, it was right there where somebody can peep something out at the moment. Quickly. And you have to go this route. That was one of the cars that are dealt. First one? That was one of the cars that are dealt. What happened? I don't know. Did he, did he survive? No, I don't know. So, he left with him from Naples? Who, who was with you when you left together? Was there another girl with him? Or just you and him? Yeah, I think it was the other female. Because uh, I don't know, I still don't know. Were you, said, I see the picture, I say, were you in the passenger seat or in the back seat? Who, me? Yeah. We were in the middle. You were in the middle? Okay. Where did he want to go from? Let me ask you uh, this question. Who was the go kid? Who put, who put so Gabriel so. on his truck? He did. He did? By himself? Yes, sir. Did you know why? Why? Wow. Um, the old girl that he was there for came in there and told me about it. You know what I said? I repeat once again, I do not want that thing to do with it. Yeah. And big talk like that. I have no opinion. No. Okay. He did that himself. Is he alive? How can you tell? Not the noise or moving? Oh. On the way there, he was still doing the same thing I've been explaining. He was been doing all day when I pull, when I pop up. He, and the, he would, yeah. I guess it was cold wind. Keep him doing. Mm -hmm. So, I, I see him uh, So the white boy put him in the truck. Where'd y'all go from? Me, so. I don't know. Straight down 66. I don't know. Should I go straight to carriage? Or just stop? We stopped a couple of times, matter of fact, I think. Because he was uh, getting out. He was, he was, he was still moving, but it was. So y'all stopped to check the on him? Yeah. yeah. Then when. So then y'all went to carriage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's that being? It was his guy, and I didn't want him to do anything. 
the Sephora. Like, we pulled up and just. Where did he? Where did he pull up first? Um, did he somewhere on the way there. I don't know if it's in it. Where did where you go once you got to Carriage House? Where did you go? Uh, to take some water in. No, like when y'all got to Carriage House? Mm -hmm. So talk to me about what happened once you got to Carriage House. Then what happened? He pulled it up, jumped it up. Told him when to go. <clears throat> yeah, I guess he was too light headed. Lost it, lost it somewhere, but I don't know. He can't do it by himself. I'm like, ruthlessly. So, set him down. So, I set him down. Did you help him pick him up out of bed? I helped him pick him, pick up his clothes basically because he was, shoes was falling off, like, didn't want him to look bad. So, like, did you grab him? Like, did you help? Did you lift him up by his pants or anything? Like did, how did he get out of the bed of your truck? He, put, he, he basically by it was basically by itself, but I did jump off. So, okay. did you put his clothes out with him or something? You said something about his clothes. No, I was picking his, like, his pants were falling off. And they look. Sure. You know, did he actually make sure it's good? Yeah, it's good. But I don't think he would have just got up and walked because obviously we have to help him out to the truck. Where were y'all? when you dropped him off out of the truck. Can I describe him where, you know, where it looked like? Like, well, what did you see? Oh, um, um, I don't know what the things is. I think, it, I know I seen it's a tree, I think. I think I really want to pay attention. Okay. But, um, I didn't know what no destination was. The only thing I was asked for was to help him get some work. Where did y'all go after that? Take some motor in. What y'all do? I facilitated for him. Okay. But that was not on behalf of what he did because when he came to the door, I did not know what was going on. Okay. When yes. I came to the door, I didn't know what was going on, you know? So let me ask you this question. Um, why did he do what he did? Oh boy. I think that's um, it was on behalf of the female. I don't think it was, like, it was on behalf of the female. So that other female was like, hey, do you help us get this guy out of here? Not necessarily, but, but I'm pretty sure she was like, can we get a ride? And then she was going to explain everything else when he pulled up. But I don't know where I had walked in. In the midst of that. What was your intention of going with him? Why did you go with him? To, uh, to help him out. Did it take some money or help him out with Gabriel? Oh, yeah. Uh, take some money. I didn't, I really didn't want him to do it. So, so when I said earlier that it, it would make sense that you would want him to hurry up because you don't want someone holding up on you, is that what you were thinking or were you thinking something else? Mm, I think that was basically <laughs> the good judgment I kept saying. I didn't, I really just wanted, if he would have pulled up at the hospital himself, because I would have said, I, I didn't know the destination. If he would have pulled up at the hospital, I would have helped him out. Did anyone did mention, did you know? anyone say anything about taking him to a hospital? <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the only one. We have been sitting there too long, why, why not? When did you hear that he had passed? It had to be at least. It was not immediately, yeah. I don't know, I think, uh, it wasn't all 24 hours. The next day, maybe? No, it had to be over 12 hours, though. What time did you guys drop him off? Do you remember? That's what I'm saying. Early when I was telling you I wasn't the best um the best idea I can give was maybe after twelve. Somewhere after twelve. It could be from I'll say from in between twelve to two. Okay. But don't quote me on that. What did you guys choke with that? 
Had you ever seen it before? Anything stand out about it to you? Mm. I think it was, it was dark. Dog town. It was either green or red. I don't know why. It was in between the two. Okay. There was only two colors that popped up in my head. Old school scene, yeah. I'm no brain. Had you ever seen a white dude before? Never in my life. Do you remember what Gabriel was wearing? I don't even know if he had his jacket on. Do you remember what size? No. Blue pants. Blue pants? Do you remember what side of the carriage house you guys pulled into? Did you? Did he walk? Yeah, down. Do what now? Man went down. Did he walk he whenever down. you guys got him out of the truck? Did he walk? No, he can um, not necessarily. I wouldn't stand him up on his feet. How did y'all set him down? Uh, uh, how did he set him down? He set him down like on his, like, like if he was to sit down. Mm -hmm. Like if I was to sit down for right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just with his arms kind of in front of him like that. Legs out. Did he mm -hmm. say anything or do anything? By this time he wasn't really talking. He was up, he wasn't really talking. Cause he, cause he I think he was, was only talking because of the people he was around. He had really nothing to say to his wife, but I believe it. He don't know him either. You think he yeah. was alive when y'all left him? I know he was. So when did you go back and see the carpet was going on? Did you see the blood and the stuff in the house on the couches and all the carpet and stuff? Yeah. Did you ever see that? Yeah. When did you go back and all that was gone? What day? Was that? <clears throat> that was immediately. It had to be the same day if it was after twelve. It had to be a couple hours later. That same night. Mm -hmm. Who helped with that? You know? How did? Because surely Geneva didn't just do that yourself, mm -hmm. making the match. I think, uh, I don't know. Have you seen it? Yeah. Because by the time I had came back, he was already pulled up. Is anybody else there? But I seen the blood before that. Uh, it was a Mexican dude. The one Mexican dude I told you I'd never seen before. Uh -huh. well, have you seen Jacob since that day? No, sir. Were you there when Jacob showed him? I was not there. Not at the duplex? <clears throat> no, I was actually pulling up and heard the shot. What time did it? I would say my best guess at the latest. 10, earliest. Probably right, 10 in the morning or 10 in the night? 10 in the morning. Was Jacob there when you got there? When you heard you pulled up, you heard the shot. What did you do? I kind of was confused. Where it came from? Or? Yeah. And did you go straight inside? Yeah. What did you see? Which door did you go inside? Uh, front. Front door. Because there's the garage door and the front door and then the back door, right? Mm -hmm. And then which one? Mm -hmm. The main door. What did you see? Dancing. <laughs> so dancing? Yeah. From who? From Gabriel. He was dancing? Like, it was crazy. Like dancing, dancing. Mm -hmm. Or just wobbling. Dancing. Like, like still good. <clears throat> just talking shit. Or did you, I did I you see where? Honestly, I thought he scared him with the shot. <laughs> did you see blood or anything? Did Not where? immediately. Did you see where he got shot? Like on his body? Where he got shot? Uh, no. I didn't look. I just knew, like, like I said, not immediately I didn't see blood, but after a while, uh, I put two and two together because I really didn't say nothing. I was in shock. Um, 
What was everybody else doing? The body? What was everybody else doing? <clears throat> Trying to stop. I'm, yeah, with me, and I really can't pay attention to nobody else. But like I said, I'm in shock. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I was just, I just didn't know what I was doing. I was yeah. trying to stop this motherfucker on. from shooting again. Mm-hmm. Did he have a gun? You saw Jacob with a gun? Why didn't he shoot him again? Or did he? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. You heard the one shot, right? Yeah. Or did you hear multiple? I heard one shot. You go in there, you see Jacob doing what? Pointing, trying to. Pointing, trying to pull the trigger? Yeah. And I'm in the way. And what? And I'm in the way. You blocked it with your body or what? I'm trying to stop this dude. <laughs> From shooting him some more? For trying to end his life. Yeah. Okay. Who else is in the room? I don't know. His, uh, great, uh, his brother was there. He was there. What was Neva doing? She's good. She's confused, I guess. I really was Josh using. I think he was trying to stop him too. Anybody else in there? Don't think. Okay. So you you get in the way. Then what happens? You know, everybody's arguing and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. Not honestly. Yeah. But I'm wondering why. It's so urgent for you to do that. You know? Mm-hmm. It was just a whole lot of commotion. And then when I finally calmed down, I had to go. When I came back, it's a deep story again. It's like, Leva had no say so at, at this time because he already made the move without her say so, regardless, in her own house. So, there, my my understanding is that they didn't want him to want to suffer and to be able to save him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, who's they? Mm, I'm I'm put Jacob in, put Josh in because that's his brother, of course. Mm-hmm. Understandable. You don't want nothing bad to happen. Right. <clears throat> That's why I feel like the beating came after that. You know, he, he survived that, that gunshot or whatever it was. Didn't do nothing. He would have survived that. Mm-hmm. And the beating. You didn't see where it went, though? Just somewhere in the body. Did you see the beat? No. How long from the time that you left to the time you showed back up the second time? Approximately. Let's see. Um, not even an hour, right? Okay. What were they basically doing? Fist? I heard this when we hear the conversation. Uh, fist. Uh, bats. A bat. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever. Anything else? Not specifically. Anything else that happened had to be in between the time that I wasn't there. Did you hear him talk about anything else other than this is a bat? Did you ever see the injury on his head where you can see the skull? I didn't know I seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, no, I didn't know I seen it. That's why I really didn't want to be there. I, Who talked about they did it? That they beat you? Who was the one doing it? People who didn't want me to speak. Who's that? I'm sure I'm not to know that. Was it Jake? Both. I, I'm guessing. So you didn't hear one way or the other. You're just assuming it was someone who didn't want him to speak, or do you? Know? I'm, I'm assuming it was the brother also. Because that's what I'm asking. Do you know, or is you just, are you just guessing? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's it. Kind of why would anybody else do it? You know. Quiet, because I would be quiet 
talked to her, I really was quiet. We sit till I talk to her. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Shouldn't you have still there? Mm-hmm. Did she say she didn't hit? Mm-hmm. Was anybody else there? Should that be? He was there at one point in time. I don't think he was there for the beat. I don't know. Anybody else? Yeah. That one, that one female, that one female had uh, pop, I think that's had, had popped off because she was um she the accusation was that the guy had trapped her after after uh he disrespected Jacob mm-hmm. uh maybe like forty five minutes later the uh, one girl comes in I don't know her name nothing like that the same girl who called her what. She runs in, she says she's being trapped in a hotel room in a town building. And he was the one that all tied her and left her in cold water. Uh, Gabriel mm-hmm. was the one that did that. Stole this dude's car or something like that. He has been getting money every day off, off of it. As soon as that happened, I believe that's when Jacob jumped the gun and shot him while we were outside. I got the story after I came in. So you had been there for a little while before the shot happened? Yeah. Okay. So you'd been there, you went outside, heard the shot. Why were you outside? I was outside. I walked to the store. Oh, and I was down walking, six. And I was walking back. You heard the Probably by the time I got to the apartment across the street, I heard it. And I didn't sit there and think, and I was like, fuck, ran to the house. And it was the way it was. I think. When the shot happened, how many people were there? Anyway. I don't you know, showed like up. Like I said, uh, I was really in shock. Yeah. Me, I know me and Jake and Uh, Josh. And then one girl, and you gave one. That's all I thought. The one girl was. <clears throat> She had to be there because as soon as she told him. Was he over there? Who? Uh, okay. So who lives there? <laughs> My brain's a little bit all upset, man. Neva lives there. Neva, sorry. Yeah. I said Eva. Neva. Neva was there? Neva's dad there? I think he was there at that time. I think he was there. So you yeah. gotta count seven. Do what? You gotta be seven count. Anybody else there? Guys, girls. Um, I think so. Okay. So you come back. You guys beat up worse. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You said you assumed Josh did it. Did they talk about Jacob doing it, or are you assuming that as well? I'm assuming that as well. Okay. You said something about the girl. That's why it popped off. Did that that's girl do anything? That's, that's uh, at first. Yeah, was dis- disrespect. And the girl didn't do nothing. She didn't do anything. I think she told me. She didn't do anything. She was just talking shit. Okay. I'm like, totally. So you're you're there. What happens whenever you get there? You see the dudes beat up more. You see the skull. Anything else? Do they all stay there? How long are you there? Yeah, like it's these these goodbye. Like we we have a few words. Like I said, I keep like moving. Do you look like that or what? Yeah, like, no, we have a few words like, hey, what's up? Like, I know you. You yeah. tell me what's up because we ain't had no problems. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but it just wasn't like, oh, hey, what's up? We're going to have a conversation and say, what's up? I don't know what else to say to you. I don't yeah. know what to say, period. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, damn, so what the fuck are y'all going to do about this shit? Where the fuck is Josh and his brother, Jacob? Because now y'all are just... It's, it's, it's fucked up man like mm-hmm. I would be a, a real bad person if I just turn right around as soon as I see that them two are gone and I know their play I kind of feel like they're just gonna not come back yeah. just turn around and hit the door which I should have did but it just wasn't in my mind and she had no idea like what the hell she was gonna do she Mm-hmm. That's 
person that LV leave that time. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about him back. What are you guys doing? And, and um, the whole time, I'm like making like he, he, he is a soldier. Who is? Okay. Yeah. Tough guy. Mad to me. Because when I look at him at this point in time and think about it, would I be able to survive this much? Mm-hmm. Nah, a long time ago. That's why I'm debating in my head, like, what are we, what, and now it's what are we gonna do? Cause I, this is my third time here. Obviously my name gonna come up like it did. Yeah. She had no, she had no answer. I have none either. <laughs> When you look back at it, you can do it again. What would you do? I thought it never showed up. Well, what's but the idea? Let's say I did. Show up. Mm-hmm. And do you think it was wrong to leave him there, or do you think you gave him the best chance you could? I think um, the, the time period was too long in every which way. Uh, you want to think about it as in time period too long to call anybody? Yeah. Time period too long for him to be in the house that long? Yes. You know, time period too long for them to be beefing for a week and let it escalate up to this? Yes. Yeah, I, I would do it totally different, but I would not be able to explain how I would do it. It could be as well as text or call LB while he's dropping off and say, call 911 and send him to his address. Yeah. You know? Jay said I did nothing. You were right here the whole time. Did you see anything? No, but I know who did. Mm-hmm. Person who got this is. I'm just here to help. Officer, thank you, please. Goodbye. I'm great to see my son. You know. You feel better? Talking about it? Yeah, just talking about it, yeah, but. It's a lot to hold you. That's a lot to keep on your shoulders, but it's a lot to lay somebody down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not the same. It's a little more when. Yeah. How do you think you'll be judged by what you think? Just the. <laughs> the decision to jump in. And Do what? Just by the decision. Just, just by the decision to jump in, I'll be just as, I mean, it's okay, it'll be okay. I hope it will, I hope it will, I wish you didn't have to get that one. You know, that I think every year, everything we do has consequences. Everything, and what I mean by that is everything, everything we do, Every action has a reaction. Well, that makes me feel bad. Positive or negative? Not everything's your own, the positive or negative, too, I think. Sometimes we make a mistake, and that happens. Some of it's bad, but when we learn from this mistake, we turn it around. You know what I mean? And good things can come out. Do you agree with that? Mm. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not going to be long. Uh, I'm not even speaking on uh, being judged. I'm speaking on uh, how society is and how I'm living, how we're living, how you might think, how I'm being judged. How judgment day will come. How I'm already dealing with certain things. 
from the agent. Do you, what do you want me to ask him? What do, you want to do you want to talk to him tomorrow or something? I, mean, I, don't, I don't want to like, get this out the way right now, so I kind of like, know if that's possible. You want me to come now? Talk to him? Sure. I mean, I'll ask him if he will. I can't make him, but I'll ask him. Maybe tomorrow or something. This suit he's got, and uh, I'll let him know. Okay. Thank you, sir. We shedding tears today. Do what now? Uh, we got shit some tears today. It's a lot, man. Mm. It's a lot. There's no getting around it. Some bad things happen. Until mm-hmm. everything else for a reason, and all we can do is move forward, right? Wish I had a warrant, though. Do I know? Wish I had a warrant. Wish you did? Did no. not. Wish I didn't. Yeah. I'm really trying to figure out why. Um, when you came back, you, you said, uh, you guys were trying to figure out what was going on. What happened after that? He yeah. came back, there, he was beat up more. Trying to figure out what, what you're going to do, what's going on. What happened after that? Really, um, <clears throat> the plan then was we were sitting ducks. Mm-hmm. And I was going to sit. Everyone's out, still there? I was going to sit like a duck with the uh, knife. Actually, just me, that the one girl in her. One girl, and, one girl in here? In Neva. So Jacob and then Hardy left? This is the third time we're talking about? The second, I think. Because you, you told LB yeah, to take off. Yeah, that's yeah. when yeah. yeah. Because so we were sitting next and basically the best plan we had in the world was wait on them to see if they could actually come back. See so who comes back? The brothers. So they left before you came back the first, second time? Okay. And we know we're turning two, she turned four, nothing to go. <laughs> you know, we go, come back. What's the dude doing? He was struggling. After a while, he was sleeping peacefully. Mm-hmm. Peacefully. Like, he got the blanket and all. Mm-hmm. You know. Go check him. Check on him. Make sure he's alive. He's good. I thought he was going to eventually get up and walk out. Mm-hmm. You know, he tell a story to a person that you are going to handle it, you know. But, like I said, if he was able to, <clears throat> he, knew I, he knew I wouldn't have nothing to do with that. I just wish, you know, too, too bad for wish. I wish my baby was here right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had y'all waited, what'd you do? I left. I didn't leave here. What'd you do? Someone will get you or what'd you want? This is after the second time we were waiting for a couple hours, right? Mm-hmm. And they'll be coming down here. Okay. I'm just chilling. 
I had to come back. You know, I swear. Since the third time you came back? The third time you did that? What mm-hmm. happened then? What did you see when you came in? Uh, it's, it's a lot of different people. Do what? There's a lot of different people in the dude that's still, still, still in there. Sleeping mm-hmm. peacefully. Who's all the people? It's me, you know, no. White boy, though. White boy, Sarah. And Jacob and them there? Jacob and Josh? No. And is that girl still there? That girl there each of three times? Mm-hmm. White boy's there. Anybody else? Yeah. You, a white boy, the the girl that white boy can see you, Gabriel, and anyone else? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't and so that's when we get into where the decision yeah. was made to yeah. take him to the truck. Yeah. Came yeah. up with, helped him out. He was alive. You know, went to Texas Monterey and got some work, came back, and that's what happened then. Is the carpet gone all that way? Mm. When you guys got back, I had left. <clears throat> back a week, I remember you were waiting there first when I first got there. Yeah. So once you came back from Texas Motoring, where did you go from there? Inside. You went inside of the house? Mm-hmm. And what did you see inside the house? Yeah, <laughs> just the, the carpet. <laughs> carpet, the carpet. Jacked up. Uh, and even the kitchen, you see. I guess it's good to know. No. Like, it's a little too regular. Still in that? Surreal? Man. <clears throat> I left. How long were you there for? Not that long. Not that long. Then he can't get you? Yeah. Who? My bro. The bro, same person. He got you. Then you came back later on. And then everything's gone. Mm-hmm. Anybody else there besides Deep? You fell asleep? Uh, Mexican dude. <laughs> the guy you never yeah. seen? <clears throat> I think uh, uh, the old girl had to be there too, but she was like, I guess she was in the other room or something. Awake? Oh, asleep? Yeah, awake. She's awake in the other room? Yeah, like by the change or something. Why do you think she was there? Because he wasn't there for a uh, native moment. You know, if, if I get the boyfriend title, mm-hmm. he not gonna be, she's not gonna do that. So. You know, she know what? She know she wouldn't let no no other guy come over there. Oh, oh my, just on her behalf. Yeah, are y'all guys kind of dating? Working that way? We was cool. Yeah. We understood. It ain't have to be explained. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You when I'm gone, on. when I'm gone, yeah, I, it's none of my business. Mm-hmm. You know. But there. Yeah. Crushed up. Yeah. Did she say who came and did the carpet and the, or did she do it? I don't think she did that. She did say? I don't think she did that though. You don't know who did that? Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? Did you wake up? What time did you wake up? What did you do after you woke up? I woke up. Called LB. <laughs> <laughs> that dude just your little, your little Uber in you. Man, it's my problem. He talks to you, yeah. You can't even me. Yeah. I mean, I can't even tell you. You call him on Facebook? On Facebook, on Neva's phone. On what phone? Neva's. Oh, Neva's phone. I can't even tell you what the I did. Oh, yeah. I went to the the crib. The last time time you've been (laughs) there? I went to my crib that time. You stay on 52nd. Yeah. Is there anything else that we didn't ask or anything? Or any, any questions or anything? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder what. What that. What that. Uh, what that shows up at. Do what? I wonder how long it's going to take me. As far as the warrant goes, yeah. there's no bond on it. Yeah, no. Um, and the federal ones typically don't have a bond. I know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I swear. 
If you didn't believe me earlier, really believe me now. I swear I don't know if it's federal or it, weapons shit. Weapons happen. trafficking is the offense. The date of the warrant is 8 10 and 16. Are you on that right Ten sixteen busted. So that's, that's when the war was created. It's not when the offense occurred. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's not whenever the crime occurred. Are you selling illegal guns? No. Like stolen guns? No. Who's whose gun was that today? Oh. It was Corey's gun, but... How'd he get there, though? I didn't take it there. But there's four people who deal with it. Just, just in case we need it. Just in case you needed it? For just in case if we need anybody needed it. It would be me, our brother. Which would be, I'm pretty sure it was our brother, but I'll take the blame for it. it. No. What about the work? What was it? The work could have been, it could have been fine. What I forgot it? about it, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what it is, no. or how much it is, or anything about it. I know they just said they found something. It's real petty. I know whatever it is. Like real petty. It's real what? Petty. Oh, it's small. Yeah. The weed or it's small. You want facilitator? You don't want. You can put that on your business card. <laughs> facilitator, concierge. Put a father on that mother. Yeah. That's what's most important, man. This is too much. Hopefully, something different. Something different. You quit hanging out with these people. A lot of times, it's the people you keep around you, man. I know when I had to get shots in the wind, yeah. I should have turned off the game. You're right. You know we should have been in that area after that happened? Huh? We had a call about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I do. Just we couldn't find him. I mean, how are we gonna find that? Yeah. We're we gonna knock on every door. <laughs> you want to shoot a gun in here? You know what I mean? Like, how do we find that? Yeah. It's a tough one. Lots of mention fire and stuff. I mean, see, yeah, you think you so just one. In the story, yeah. Try to stop him from going in, doing it again. Huh? Yeah. Y'all would that second one would have pinpointed y'all even more. I want to go. Yeah. I want to go. I still want to Today you need to go to jail for the warrants. Mm hmm. They all sort of thing now. Do you have any questions or anything? Mm hmm. No bond. Chad, just you can take care of it. Like I said, with federal stuff, they typically just put holds on people because it has to be disposed of really quickly, whether it's a conviction or whether it's um, you go to court on it or whatever else. It happens real fast, within like six weeks. You know how it takes like two years in the state mm -hmm. side? Federal stuff is quick. Typically, from the time the charges are brought, you have six weeks to go to grand jury, to the grand jury or something like that. They may have already done that. But it happens real fast. I mean, within a couple of months. They go. They probably gonna do the same thing as uh, Neva with the temper. I'm not sure. So uh, maybe we'll talk to the DA's office and communicate with them. Hopefully, a scotch. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the idea, right? It's not a fun place, especially when you don't see family. Do you need anything in the bathroom or anything? Are you chugging that water? Yeah, yeah, my mouth is dry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go pop out here real quick. Alright, I'll leave the door cracked. Hey, um, uh, damn. What's up? Uh, I was wondering if they were still here. I don't think they are, though. Oh, you're. I don't think they are. I doubt it, honestly. Thank you.
He's still on the phone with that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I wish it was like first 48 shit where he had serious and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, fuck this. Maybe a better filtration system over there. For real. We need like real, like these are our offices and we had like a interview, you know. Mm-hmm. Like good filtration. He smells more problem. <laughs> <laughs> and who's that lady that kept talking to that fucking tank? On the PA? Yeah, I don't know who it was. So tell me, um, he said it had to do with. Basically looked out at the town, mm-hmm. found out more. Okay. The okay. yeah, uh, process we can get through. Do what? <laughs> the warrant. Yeah, there's a warrant on there. And then here's the exit. Let's see. Pass all that. Original. And then there's two tickets too. You the... said you got some tickets, right? Mm-hmm. Then it could be that someone entered in something off. He told me when I talked to him that it had to do with, with Marcel and McKesson. So. Mm-hmm. But like I said, think any questions you have, just think of them and then uh, ask them tomorrow, okay? Mm-hmm. I wonder why, uh, <clears throat> if this has been on here, then why didn't uh, I've been like sending a warrant out to my anybody came to the house. Have like, you had any uh I don't know. Mm. Have you been stalking any since then, since August? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Where um, are you getting this is right here, right here. It says be this right here, be the date of warrant. Mm-hmm. It's back this is August tenth of twenty sixteen. Mm. Does that sound like okay. about the right time frame? For um for the college? Oh. I think you have blood on your shoes from what happened the other day? It's probably possible, but... <clears throat> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang on to him tonight, okay? I'm gonna have my guys look at it tomorrow, okay? Okay. And then, uh... I'll go from there. Mm-hmm. That's just something if there's blood on it, they're gonna want to know. These two ticket warrants, that's just... You said you had tickets, right? Mm, I think it was like two, yeah. Look like they're on the same day. Uh-huh. I don't even see them. Maybe. Oh, they're on Facebook. They won't show up on this. Okay, yeah. Same one. I bet what one of them is, is do you get a ticket for speeding or something? No driver's license or something? But and then that's probably two right So you right probably there. got a warrant for that, and then a warrant for not going to court. That's right. Okay. I would guess, but I'm sure they do. Yeah. On that one thing, highly expensive. Do you want. Are you going to take this? Yeah. Do you want a title? What's this? Is this like a wallet? No, I'm a diabetic. Oh, you're diabetic. Just insulin? Yeah. 
Okay. Can I, uh, is it possible for you to find him right here? Chris. See, I don't even know. No answer. C four. <laughs> it's all zero. Okay, but say when we call, it's all zeros. Who else? Uh, you can try to read out. You lower it up. Yeah. <laughs> you lower it up. King wrote the initial. Do you, uh, do you have a paper stats for me? I don't. Right. Oh, I bet it, I bet it was Crane that was on the last speaker. Who? Crane. Kimberly. I was trying to think of who was. We typically use negotiators to. Do the call outs over the PA and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, what girl is that? <laughs> Did you hear a problem? Mm -hmm. uh, after minutes. a while. After a while. Yeah, we talked about that. I was sleeping in, and my phone started blowing up. It was a brother. Like, can you just do that stuff for you? I think I saw that. I was like, yeah, I can do it. How did you know that they were out there? You know? Exactly. Um, <laughs> she lived there? Her <laughs> brother lived there? Yeah. yeah. Someone up in the garage. I'm out. I want to get that robot in here. Thank oh, you. really? Yeah. I wasn't aware at that time, though. I was like, oh. I didn't put these shoes on. This shoe's not in jeans. I was no, like, so you want to try another one? Or you get, you'll get all the calls at the jail. So <laughs> these guys are going to be your right over. The case against Demetrius Lights was dismissed after he was sentenced to 25 years in federal prison on an unrelated case, sex trafficking of a minor.
clearly a real POS. On February 12, 2020, Jacob Enriquez pleaded guilty to one count of murder, and he was sentenced to 25 years in federal prison. Geneva Leal was said to have participated in the assault, but the evidence available was only enough to prove that she did indeed help clean up the scene and disturb the body. And on July 7, 2020, she was sentenced to 20 years for her role in the death of Gabriel Salazar. In July of 2019, 30-year-old Jake Johnson, one of the three that helped dump the body in the motel parking lot, pleaded guilty to tampering with evidence, and he was sentenced to 10 years. We do not have an interview with Jake, but he did tell police that, quote, he did not care if Salazar lived or if he died. I want to thank all of our members. You are truly appreciated. And I want to thank all of you for watching. A link to our Patreon is in the description below. We will be uploading tons of extras from lots of different cases. There's a free seven day trial over there. So come and give us a shot. It truly helps the channel continue to bring new content. New cases every single week here on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and we will see you in the next one.